everyone welcome back happy monday um we're gonna play the sims 4. <laughs> uh, we're gonna play some of the not so very challenge today that is the plan let me open my game hope you're having a good day i am having a fantastic day mostly because i'm so excited about tomorrow <laughs> the new starting rally update comes out tomorrow and i've been thinking about it all day <laughs> It is taking over my life. I'm so excited. Um, but anyway, Sims today. Sims today. Which is also exciting, but not as exciting. You know? <laughs> um, hope you had a good weekend, though. I know I wasn't here yesterday, um, but hopefully you had a good day and everything. Um, yeah, he's adding drinking mayo. I don't even want to talk about that. I'm excited about the new farm type that he's talking about. He posted a little teaser on Twitter. Um, I'm just excited. So, <laughs> the drinking mayo thing, I don't know about that though. That's not, that's just vile. That's not right. <laughs> that is not right. <laughs> Princess, Sierra, Kay, and Jilly, with the 12 months, uh, Jazzy, and Tessa, and Magix, and Venus, Emerson, Tanya, Kayla, <laughs> y'all not called, the Jenny, Princess, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, so let me make sure the game is open and on the right version of the game capture because I think it thinks I'm playing house slipper. Wait, it'll come back. Give it two seconds. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, we shall go and load into our not so very save. Um, we have three kids to worry about. One of them is a toddler now, thankfully. So that's one less thing to worry about. <laughs> one less thing that we have to think about. Um, because now the kids are getting a little bit older, I'm not as stressed. When they were infants, honestly, I was like, why am I playing this game? <laughs> but now that they're not infants anymore, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, and otherwise, that should be uh, all we need to know. Yeah, I know. I think about that all the time, SG, where I... Sometimes I'm playing The Sims nowadays, and I'm like, can you believe that we used to think that toddlers were bad? We would joke and be like, oh my god, toddlers were so hard. No, they weren't. What were we saying? That was never true. We That's embarrassing that we thought that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll update you all. If this is your first time watching Not So Berry, don't worry. I'll give you a little rundown. Um, we'll explain it to you. You'll fit right in. Um, and I'll catch you up to speed off what we had happen last time we played as well, um, in case you missed last stream or whatever. Um, yeah, the infants are rough. Toddlers are fine because they can take care of themselves for the most part. Especially if they have the infant, the independent, sorry, if they have the infant, if they have the independent trait, they can really do everything, because they can even potty train themselves. Um, yeah, every time they add a life stage, they make it harder, I know. <laughs> uh, Bree, thank you for the gifted sub, Onigo with the gifted sub, Little with the gifted sub, Queen of Moons with the gifted sub, thank you so much. Um, Violet Penguin, can I tell you guys something? <laughs> Yesterday? I'm sorry, I'll catch up in a second. The penguin reminded me. Yesterday, we went to the grocery store and Dan bought these Tim Tams. They're like little cookies covered in chocolate, right? Um, I think they're Australian. But he bought these Tim Tams. And when we got home, he was going on and on. They're like penguins. They look like penguins. Like you, they're like penguins. He used to eat them out of his package. They look like penguins. And I was like, it's a square. Like, it's a, just a little wreck. Like, what are you talking about? Penguins are apparently a, a British treat. I didn't know that. But he was going on and on. But here I am thinking that he's trying to say that it actually looks like a penguin. I was like, it's not a penguin. It's a rectangle. I see no penguin on there. But I thought he meant bird. He meant a different kind of ch candy chocolate thing. I didn't know that. Kinder Penguin? Is it Kinder? I didn't know that either. Anyway, but it made me laugh because he was going on and on. I was like, what are you saying? I don't even understand. What are you even talking about? <laughs> no, it's not Kinder. Yeah, it is Kinder. I'm getting, it's Cadbury. Maybe there's more than one kind. Because I'm now I'm seeing people are giving me really conflicting opinions about the penguins. Maybe it's both. Kinder Penguin? Oh, Kinder has penguins. Here. Kinder penguin. Oops, sorry, I'm not saving the image. We gotta look at this, it's serious business. Kinder penguin. Cadbury penguin. I don't know if Cadbury has penguins. 
Nick Vitties has penguins. Oh, this must be what he's talking about. He's talking about these. Yeah, that sounds right. Because a Tim Tam looks just like that. Yeah, look. So, look at this. He's eating these. And he's going on and on. It looks just like a penguin. And I look closer at it and I'm like, no, it doesn't. Like, imagine my shock when he's like, oh, it's a penguin, it's a penguin, it's a penguin. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that makes more sense. Anyway, that's my update from yesterday. <laughs> Um, Lex and Millie and Glimmer and Leah and Miss Elizabeth and Corinne and Xavier, thank you for the subs. Little with the gift of sub again. We got Counterclockwise and Cora and Mom and Stranger and Chris and Boo and Justice. We got Dutch and Huffle and Toxic and Serene and Lith and May and Zeus. Odin with the gift of sub. We got April and, and Redhead and uh, Hig and Penguin and Hino and <laughs> Penguin, sorry. <laughs> and Philan and Olivia and Katia and Queen of Moons and Amy and Ellie and Blue Rose and Breville and Moonsongs. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't miss anything nerd as well ingrid camilla laura fake nathan thank you all so much um wow okay let me update you all on this household because uh we've been playing the not so berry challenge uh, a lot of you might have come from the video that i posted today because i posted a video like an hour ago where i built this house um but i actually built this house like a month ago in real life <laughs> um and we are we are like playing now at this point we have my sim moss um, they have a wife who's a spellcaster named Elphaba. Um, they have three kids. They're twins. Um, two of them are. This one is called Denim. Um, we got this one who's called Jort. <laughs> and we have this one who's called Smurf. And then they have a little dog called Pulp. If you are wondering, uh, Kayla, what happened to the cats? Well, they both died at the same time last time we played this game. It was like one, and then immediately afterward, the next one. It was really rough. We had a rough stream last time we played. Like, Grim Reaper left and then came straight back. <laughs> like, it was a very unpleasant time for us. Uh, but both of the cats died in the last stream on the same day in game. Yeah, that was no good. That was no good. Um, but we do still have Pulp, and Pulp is immortal, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, Pulp will never die, so at least we don't have to worry about any pet death anytime soon in game. Um, <laughs> uh, and if it wasn't clear, these two are the twins and then the, the little one is new. Its name is Smurf and it's dressed like an elf because its name is Smurf. So, that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> you believe Denim, the dapper young fellow, had hearing aids and I forgot to add them? Did I forget? Just on that outfit? We can check. I might have forgotten. Um, I don't remember if I did. The same as a jump scare every time. Oh yeah, and it's gonna get worse. Wait till I give you guys the tour of the, the grave collection in the front yard. Um, I can show you the Sims and Cass, I guess, because we're here. Um, this is Denim, he, him pronouns. Um, let me see, did I get the hearing aids on all the other outfits and just not this one? Is Jort the one with the hearing aids? Or did we make this up? No, you can wear a hat. Oh my god, it's lagging so much. You can wear a hat and hearing aids at the same time. You just can't have earring aids and hear hearing. I said earring aids. <laughs> you can't have hearing aids and earrings at the same time because the game thing. I like that confused me so bad. Um, the game thinks that hearing aids are earrings. Like it, they count them in the same place. Um, so that's why it's that's why you can't have them both at the same time. Um, Thought you could with the earrings? No, I can show you. Um, it gets kind of like messed up when you try and do it. It'll replace them. Do you see that? Um, it doesn't let you have them both. Yeah, we can put the hearing aids back though. I, I'm sorry if, if I forgot to put them. Um, oh my god, why is it lagging so much in cast? This is unbearable. Absolutely unbearable. Whoa. Um, whoa. Let's go back slowly but surely. Oh my god. <laughs> 
we got these medical wearables last year, Maisie, um, in an update. It might have been like last February, actually, if I remember correctly. Um, it was kind of a big deal update when they did that. Um, so it's kind of cool. Oh my god, it's lagging so much. <laughs> So much. I'm sorry, everyone. Hopefully it's better in cast. But yeah, I think it's been like a full year. Let me Google if, if I'll figure it out. Medical wearables update Sims 4. Oh yeah, it was January 31st um, when we got that patch of last year, not this year. So it's been over a year um, by far. Um, yeah, it was like right before the infants update came out because the infant update was in March. Um, so a little bit before then. Um, Oh, really, Ashley? Welcome to, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. I'm glad that you could make it by the stream today. Um, we don't think Denim's going to be the heir, Ella, because everyone in chat is really obsessed with Jort. Um, there's been a, a real fascination, I guess you could say, with Jort. <laughs> the, the community as a whole <laughs> is really excited about Jort. Um, so we don't think that Denim's going to be the heir. We gave Jort the trait. So we haven't like 100% decided, but we've basically 100% decided. Oh my god, should I reload the whole game? Why is it lagging so bad? Do you want to do a complete reload? Because it's not doing well. I guess it won't take that long. I'll do it anyway. Um, oh, you got a PC! Go see, that's so exciting! I hope you have the best time. That's really cool. Um, and Jennifer and else, and we got snails. Let me close this. Thank you for the resubs. Um, Nicole, Ann, James, Kit Kat, Julie, Wildflowers, and Vic, and, and Marg, and Sarah, and Jody, and Pixie, Left of Spring. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, well, I hope you feel better. You know what? Earlier today, I had a bit of a... Look, look I have some health anxiety, okay? <laughs> Shocker. Um, <laughs> but earlier today, this morning when I woke up, I was having like some really bad cramping or like a pain in my side kind of, but like where the same place that I had the cyst burst and I went to the ER like a couple years ago. And so I was having a slight panic moment where I was like, oh my God, it's happening again. I'm gonna have to go to the ER. And then it stopped. But I did have a moment this morning for like an hour where I was like, oh my god. <laughs> um, so anyway, not so good. Not so good. I think it is related, to be honest, to that. But I feel fine right now. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but it's okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. It's happened to me a couple times um, over the years. But hopefully it stops. Um, Welcome to getting older. You have those moments occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe it's just a phantom ache. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm also having a bit, without airing out my mom's dirty laundry, my mom has to get a hysterectomy soon. So I think I'm also having a bit of like, I don't know, extra stress <laughs> about all of this. You know, it's just, it's like on my mind more <laughs> um, because of what she's going through. So I'm like, panicking and thinking about it a lot, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, reload. Starting fresh, 15 minutes into the stream. It's like day one again, all of a sudden. Um, but really, Corp? Um, that's, yeah, a lot of people do. Um, it sucks though, <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> um, I think it'll be, it'll, it sucks, like, it's kind of scary, but it'll, it'll, uh, my mom will be feeling a lot better afterwards, so it'll be, you know, a win, but, anyway. <laughs> Katie, Cherry, Robin, and Midnight, and Lame, and Triss, and Ghosty, thank you all for the subs. Um, okay, well, it's taken a long time to open, so this isn't actually that good. Um, you know, J Trout, that's a good question. They asked, what do you do about required traits for the next gen if you haven't decided who the heir is yet? Um, and what I've done in the past is, uh, like, if I'm not sure, like in our case where we have Denim and Jort and we're kind of not sure, I gave only Jort the trait because I knew I wanted Jort, I think. But um, if I wasn't sure, I might give both Denim and Jort the same trait. Um, like both the correct traits for Not So Berry. And then if I decided on Jort, I might go back and swap Denims out for something else, you know? Um, is kind of what I would do if, <laughs> um, if I were playing this and I wasn't sure. Um, but it's up to you. You can do whatever you want and whatever you think works best. Oh my god, it's 2 a.m. <gasps> what is wrong with you? Go to bed. Yikes. Everybody's awake in the middle of the night. 
Well, we'll fix that first. Um, you go to bed too. Can the child even get upstairs? Maybe I'll teleport it myself. What? Why did I leave the episode at 2 a.m. with everybody awake? Like, why do I keep setting myself up for failure in this? Oh, because I went to get the grave. Oh. <laughs> I think one of our distant relatives died, so I went to go get their grave. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. I was That's why I woke up in the middle of the night, because I had stuff to do. Okay, I'm doing a little switch because this didn't fit right. The kid wouldn't use it. Um, I think that Europe changes your clocks, Claris, on the 31st. Um, so we have a weird time zone difference until the 31st because of that. Um, but it will be back to like normal on the 31st. It's really confusing, but that's why our clocks changed uh, last Sunday. So it's been over a week since then. Um, and a, why are you still awake? And a lot of places haven't yet, so. Um, I know that this timing is better for a lot of people in Europe because it's a little bit earlier. <laughs> so people are fans of this for the most part, it sounds like in chat, because um, it's not as late for you, but yeah, it should be the 31st when that happens. Um, but anyway, um, so the auto captions are changing Jort into George. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Jort. Jort. Oh, I got it. Jort. No, that thought I said short. Jort. No, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at my caption. <laughs> what I can see, look, do you see the captions in the bottom right corner? Um, that's how I can tell what it's captioning. <laughs> okay, um, the kid needs to go to bed. Why are you still awake? I'm sorry, I haven't made it through the night at all yet. Oh my. <laughs> You're clipping that? Leave me alone, Christine. <laughs> Imagine you just get to the stream, you just tune in, and the first thing you hear, Jort! Jort! <laughs> No contact, Jort. <laughs> anyway, um, here's a little tour of the outside. Uh, these are my graves. I have 283, um, and that's kind of all you need to know. So welcome in everybody. <laughs> okay, actually what I wanted to do next, um, I was thinking about trying to make some improvements to our garden situation. Oh my God, the lag, I cannot deal with this. I wanted to make some garden improvements because we have a lot of trees just kind of like in the yard and I don't like it. So I'm thinking about trying to put maybe some planter boxes down here and then I can put the trees in these just to move them over a little bit more. Um, Cause I can place this thing there. Yeah, look, I only have three, that's not that bad. Oh, actually I have four, okay, sorry. Never mind. I'll get another one. Um, mm, scoot over. Why am I having so many lag problems when I go into build mode in this lot? I'm finding that really alarming, actually. Okay, I may also extend this out just a bit more. See if we can have any luck with that, too. That might help us then I can get some more plants inside. This is such a weird long and skinny room. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Um, that's okay though. Ooh, could be the graves. Yeah, but it, this is sort of a new issue and I've had the graves for a long time. Oh, that's a tree as well. Oh my God. That's a tree as well. Oh my God. That's a tree as well. <laughs> What's this one? Mandrake root, okay. Um, that we have cherry tree, apple tree, lemon tree, pear tree, pomegranate tree. Oh my. Well, I guess maybe I'll move this one just to be on the ground and I can try and line these up a bit more. This is not going to work, is it? I can scoot them all exactly together. That might save us some space. I don't know why it's doing this with the lag. I'm sorry, chat. You don't deserve to have to watch this. Okay, well that looks a little bit better. So, 
Um, okay, I think I feel pretty good about that, although it's all of a sudden worse in game. No, we're fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Scottish lore, Shannon, Princess, Gossip, and Lacey, and Dolores, thank you for the subs. Um, no, trees don't need planter boxes. I just prefer how they look when they're like not randomly placed down. I could have organized them a differently. I don't know. I just, I had them like randomly in a cluster right here and I didn't like it. I wanted to make a more dedicated space for them. Why are you going down the stairs? You let the Sims be for like two seconds and all of a sudden they're climbing around and doing all these things wrong. <sighs> the lag is bad. Let me save again. I don't understand. I haven't had any issues all day. <laughs> and it was fine for a bit until I went into build mode. Yeah, the garden plots from Cottage Living are a, a good, like, happy medium. Maybe we can swap it out if we try and decorate a little bit better later on. I don't know. We can think about it. Um, yeah, well, so V4, I just saw that. I'm thinking I'll try and make a video um, on, on it, because they posted it today. We can pull it up and I can show you what they're talking about. The Sims made- first of all, this is a terrible shell challenge. Like, it, it looks like a duck, which is funny, but I don't think that's their intention. But the Discord server is trying to do an official shell challenge. Um, I would have made it less of a box, like, if I were doing it. I would have, like, had some more interesting shapes to it, but um, I, I was thinking about trying to do this for a video. Um, modern Madness Shell is what they called it. Um, but it's giving Duck Dan. <laughs> and like, why is it uploaded? It's cloudy right now um, in the in the game. And they uploaded it like that, which is fine. But I would have uploaded it, you know, from Managed World so the weather wouldn't be like that. And it wouldn't be so dark out in it. Um, but anyway, it's a weird shell. Sometimes weird is fun. But they did post that in their Discord server today. Um, go with a duck theme? Yeah. <laughs> and it's on... Um, Agent Shawnee's gallery, it looks like. Um, I don't know. It's interesting them having this Discord server and, like, working, um, working more on trying to, I don't know, it, it, do community events like that, I guess, and stuff. Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool that they're doing more of it, so. Um, I guess that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like them doing community shell challenges. I just wish this one was like a little different, but it's a fun start. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Can you stay asleep? Why did the why does the kid keep? Oh, I guess you just haven't fallen asleep yet. The kid keeps waking up. It's kind of stressful. Um, you left the Discord almost immediately because you were so overstimulated. Yeah, the Discord server has calmed down a lot. Um, it's not as bad as it first was, and I, I am coming to you from a place of, uh, a serious personal experience, if you will, because I was repeatedly harassed for about a week straight in there, and they barely did anything to stop it, and I was really displeased. Like, like, people telling me to die and stuff. Like, it was actually really bad, um, but no one talks in there anymore. I think because they were, did such a poor job of modding it, that every reasonable person said, whoa, I am not hanging out in this place. And everybody left <laughs> or like muted it and went away. Um, but now it's not as bad. Um, oh my God, you just ate the cow pancake. Now it's not as bad because um, there's not really people in there trolling it as much anymore. Um, but yeah, it was rough. The Sims, uh, the, their Discord server was not really... Uh, <laughs> prepared for for that upon launch I guess <laughs> oh, no. and that was in the Sims official discord server um I don't know I kind of have an outlook on this where I guess I almost feel a little bit glad that it was like me and not somebody else because I am maybe better equipped to deal with it than most um but yeah, they did a really poor job of modding that server. And then get this, I would send in a report to be like, hey, can you please delete these people talking about me like in this way? Literally telling me to die. And then um, they didn't respond for like an hour. It just kept going. And then when they finally replied, they're like, thank you for your report. We'll, we'll consult our disciplinary matrix. And then I said, okay, well, can you at least tell me like what happened? To, like, did you ban them? And they said, we don't share 
Like, we don't share results of our mod actions with people. Which, that's fine and makes sense. But someone told me to die! So I would like to know if you banned them or not, so I know if I can engage in this server. <laughs> like, I think that you just- They were not- They hired people to mod the server. Like, I think they hired, like, a Discord management company. Um, which feels like maybe a scam, I don't know. Um, but they just were not, like, sensitive in dealing with that at all. And, like, did a really bad job. But it got better. Anyway, welcome in, Raider! Sorry, AJ! I was talking about this, uh, nightmare. I didn't talk about it at all when it was happening, because I did not want to draw attention to it. But, um, that was actually incredibly distressing <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Bob's Pancake, Salty, and KJ, and Go Fish, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah. Is it poorly modded still? Is it? I haven't been in there much. All I know is that it, it's a lot quieter now. It doesn't really- no one talks in there much anymore at all. Um, so. Anyway. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, Moss, you have work in 37 minutes. I might, in the meantime, would you like to just talk to yourself and practice speech? for like the next 30 minutes. You need to research gardening. So we can do that too. Nice time to join the stream. Yeah, sorry uh, for the discussion I'm in the middle of. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was, that was rough um, at the time. Okay, I would like you to... More choices. Oh my God, it's so weird and laggy. Web. Research gardening. Don't make me get rid of my graves. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't really understand the um, the draw of like trolling in that way in places. I don't know. I, I think that even when you're a miserable troll, there should be a line. And like physical harm is kind of the, like that's, we've crossed the line, you know? Um, once you start talking about stuff like that, so... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alicia, Cadet, thank you for the resubs. Even when you're a bad person, there should still be a line, right? Um, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. 6,000 simoleons in bills, oh boy. Um, let's see if we can get this to stop lagging. I don't understand! Uh, okay, Moss, go to work. You, how close are you to getting your, your charisma skill up? It can't be that close, to be honest. I don't really ever use, oh, it's so close! Oh, I should have had them finish that before work. I didn't realize it was that close. We could have got promoted today. Um. Oh, did you, Spicy? Yeah, I deleted the TikTok app this week, too. Um, I saw a video about me that I didn't need to see, so I deleted it. <laughs> Um, I, I, uh, was no longer on there. <laughs> cheat it? You want me to cheat the charisma skill? Because it's that close? Should I? Oh, we got it! Thank you. That was fantastic. The whole app because of one video? Yeah, no, you- If it happened to you, you'd understand. <laughs> I had this, like, ah, I'm out now, actually. Sort of moment. <laughs> I've seen enough. Um, these are all, I think they all like reset themselves. That's so annoying. Okay, we're teleporting over here to get some food. Um, I don't get it. Why? Maybe if I try and reload the whole game again and this time I don't go into build mode. Because that was like half the problem. Um, maybe we could try that. Um, anyway, <laughs> you deleted Twitter today? Oh, I deleted the Twitter app again, too. That one was a long time coming. I had it gone for a while, and then I redownloaded it because I got back into a healthier place with it, um, and then I got myself into trouble So I this week, so I had to leave. <laughs> I am not on there anymore. I haven't been in there. Oh, the EA app requires an update. Restart the EA app, maybe. See if that helps us. Um... But in general, I've been trying to move away from, like, doom scrolling on social media and trying to, like, move more towards, like, picking up my book and my Kindle 
in times of I want to scroll, you know? So it's been for the best, I think. Um, I just, I don't want to like spend, I like being on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. Like I like to read those things sometimes, but I don't want to like spend a like large chunk of my day on Instagram and Twitter or like TikTok or whatever. Um, large chunk is probably an exaggeration anyway, but it's like when you have like a couple free minutes, I've been trying to move into the book instead, you know? Um, and make more process progress with that, but um, it's hard because I like when I start reading, I don't like to read for like five minutes. I want to like read and like finish a chapter, you know. And sometimes, like if you're reading a book that has long chapters, then it's hard. I don't like to stop in the middle of a chapter, but I've been working on it. <laughs> you know, I've been working on it. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm reloading again. We'll see if it's better this time. Um, I need to read. I can't just read. There you go. I get it, Tilly. Short amounts are hard, but I'm trying, depending on the book, it's more possible, so, um, I'm trying to, like, reframe it, so, um, but, anyway, that's where your silly mobile games come in, yeah, that's why I've been playing so much Heyday, it's so bad, it's so bad, <laughs> I really like Heyday for that, it's so nice to just, you know, check in, plant my plants and stuff, <laughs> That's fine, though. I'm okay with that. I'm a gamer. It's fine, right? <laughs> you do crosswords now? I do crosswords a lot, too. I quite like doing crosswords. Um, and that's a fun thing to be able to just, like, you know, you can pop in and out of that a little bit. So. Um, what's Heyday? Oh, it's a, it's a app. It's a mobile game, and you, like, farm in it. I guess you could say it's a cozy game. I mean, it's also a mobile game, so like, you know, they they go to great lengths to make it difficult for you so that you want to pay your gems and, you know, give them real life money, but <laughs> um, it's fine. I, I just don't pay them and then it's fine. But yeah, I like, I like Heyday. Um, I've been enjoying it. Oh my god, why is my computer having such a hard time? Look at this. Ridiculous. <sighs> We're struggling with the game today. Um. Oh, that's a good point, Christine. I hadn't really thought about that. Oh, smoother now. Okay. Let's not go into build mode, because that's when we had problems. This is when I went into build mode last time. So we'll just stay out of build mode and keep to ourselves. Um, okay, you want to get to Spellcaster rank 5. I may have you come brew up some more of the potions of plentiful needs after this, too. Um, use puzzle and card game apps. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff. Um, it's nice. Maybe during Easter you should try to start your heyday era again. I'm sorry, I don't mean to influence you all to play, to play heyday. I just, it's been fun for me. Um, me and my siblings and Dan have, like, a little, uh, neighborhood on Heyday, and we play together. Except Brett and Shanna are out of their Heyday era, and only I am still in it. So they're not really playing as much as they were before, um, and Dan doesn't want to play that much either, so I have to keep telling Dan, um, can I play on your phone? This is so embarrassing, but I'll be like, oh no, my trees need fixed, because you have to, like, ask a friend for help to, like, fix your trees, and I'm like, Dan, can I play on your phone so I can fix my own trees? <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. I'm I have I'm into this game at a, per a perfectly reasonable amount. Okay, I'm not too into it. It's perfectly reasonable and fine. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> Dan, can I play on your phone? <laughs> uh, but I enjoy it. It's fun. So don't judge me. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, we're trying to finish this potion, I guess. The kid's finally awake, too. Oh, you're coming into the basement? Go away. Get back upstairs, kid. Maybe you can come work with these. You can play inside the tents. I'll get you some skills. Um, your dad does that with your phone with Clash of Clans? <laughs> oh, I have really strong negative opinions towards Clash of Clans just because my dad and brother play it and the sound of that game soundtrack, like, the sound of the game... It makes me irrationally angry. 
Like, it's just because my dad always plays everything, like, full volume on his iPad. And it, like, you're, I'll be in my bedroom at home, and I can hear him full volume playing with this. What is happening there? Playing his games, and it just makes me so mad. It's, it's Clash, and he, he watches, like, videos of people racing cars on YouTube. It's like POV GoPro video type stuff of racing cars on YouTube. Oh my god, the, the sound of car engines just, oh, it makes me want to scream. I hate it. And I think that too when I'm just on the road and I hear a loud car and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but my dad playing his little car videos out loud makes me so mad. <laughs> why does he have it? Why is the volume all the way up? Why does it need to be that loud? It's, I understand playing it out loud, whatever. But does it need to be so loud that I can hear it behind a closed door? Like I'm across the house and I can hear it. And that's where we have a problem. <laughs> like the, you've taken it too far. You've taken it too far this time. <laughs> Crystal, J Dot, Cupcake, Insane, and Alicia, and absolutely in Cadet. Thank you all for the resubs. Um, okay. Well, you finished eating. I don't understand what happened to this thing. Cause it's like saying discard content, but I, did I get enough of my potions? I think I did. Is that just leftovers? How long until I get my, oh, we're close. You should try and brew some more potions. Maybe get some more plentiful needs potions. I don't know. Um. What happened to the cats in the house? They were- the cats in this household were elders. Um, they are no longer with us. <laughs> they had- my sims had two cats. Uh, last time we played this save, they both died on the same day. It was pretty rough. It was pretty rough, actually. But it's okay. We're making it through. Snap is good. Snap's been doing well. Um, she had a good day today, I think. She's been spending a lot of time on our screened in patio downstairs. Um, she was actually extremely difficult to force to come inside because she was on the cat tree. She's she's not been in her cat tree era recently. And, and it was making me nervous because I was thinking like, oh, maybe she's like, maybe her, it like hurts her to jump as high. So she's not jumping as much because she has been jumping less these days. Um, but... She's back in her cat tree era. We have a cat tree on the patio because it's like screened in so the cats can't get out. It's like safe for them. Um, and she would not come inside. <laughs> she was on her cat tree. She said, I'm sitting right here. So we had to get like treats to lure her in. It was a whole thing. Um, but I was pretty relieved by that, her like going back up there. Some cats, they just like to, you know, they pick out new favorite spots, I guess. Um, but she definitely does struggle to jump up these days a little bit more. Um, She's a little bit more wary of jumping, I guess. But she's okay. <laughs> she's okay. Um, yeah, she at the vet on... When did I go to the vet on Thursday? I think it was Thursday. Because um, she has like a weird lump on her leg, which we're still waiting for results on. Um, I said it would take a week though. So it's like we still have a long way to go. Um, but at the vet on Thursday, after they like poked her... Because they drew her blood again. Like, every six months she gets blood work because she's so old and has kidney disease. They drew her blood again. Um, and then they, like, poked her in the little lump she has on her leg to try and get, like, a sample from it so they could look at it under a microscope. And after she came back into our room after being taken back to get her little needles, um, she was very scared. And she was trying to jump onto the counter at the vet to, like, get behind the computer and hide. But she was too scared to get on the counter. She, was like, didn't want to make the jump. So she would, like, wiggle, like, I'm going to do it. And then chicken out and like put her paws up and stand on it and yell like she wanted me to lift her up there but i'm not lifting you up there behind the the pc like i'm not gonna help you onto the counter so you can hide behind the pc because i know i'm gonna have a really hard time getting you out from behind their computer and i don't want to deal with that <laughs> any other time i'd help you but here at the vet i'm not helping you she did manage to make it up on her own um with a little bit of encouragement you know she had to like get herself together um but, and then guess what? It was really difficult to get her out from behind their computer. I had to move the vet's computer and I did not want to do that. <laughs> I did not want to move their computer to have to get her out. I know that it probably happens a lot with the cats at the vet. Like they want to hide and it's like the best spot to hide in the room. But I really did not want to touch their computer. You know what I mean? 
I really did not want to touch it. <laughs> I was very stressed about that. It, right? It, like, feels like it's illegal or something to touch the vet's computer. I was scaring myself. Oh, did I do it? Oh, we got Spellcaster rank 5! Oh, good. We can buy the last thingy then. That is pretty good. Um, effects on all potion, potions are increased and or last longer. We can get Master Duelist. Um, while in the Magic Realm, they are extremely powerful. Oh my goodness. What else do I want to get? We have four more points. I might get both of those. Insightful Eye. Incredible Forager might be helpful. And maybe I could buy this Moat Hound one. Oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we've got that all finished. You can pick a new aspiration if you want. I just got the Slinger of Spells trait, too, from finishing that. Um, how do you buy ingredients for potions? Oh, I can show you. We can go. I'll do it. We'll go to the Magic Realm and I'll show you. How about that? <laughs> Eileen, Goddess, Elena, thank you for the subs. Um, alright. Let's find out. She should do all the spell cast aspiration. Oh, I guess we could do that, too. I was thinking about doing the Crystal Aspiration next. Um, but both are good ideas. I don't know. We think the Jor will be the next heir. Yeah, Alyssa, we're pretty sure that's what we're leaning towards. Um, who, what's chat voting for with Tilly's? Maru is winning by far. Get this, Dan has never married anyone in Stardew Valley. He's, like, gotten very close to perfection in Stardew Valley. He's never married a single person. Why? I will never know. But he's never married anyone. So he's gonna play this, like, the update again. Um, and, uh, I was telling him that he should pick someone to marry this time. And he's like, yeah, yeah, finally I will, whatever. Um, but, anyway, I, uh, I'm curious to know who he ends up picking. <laughs> okay, this is how you buy uh, potion ingredients though. You come over here to this little shop in the magic realm and then you can buy the potion ingredients. Tell Dan to let us decide. Yeah, I was telling him that. I was like, let it, let your chat tell you what to pick, like who to marry. Cause they'll, they'll have stronger opinions than you do. <laughs> um, oh, another death flower. Interesting. Maybe I'll buy that while I'm here. I already have death flowers, but may as well get some. What do you have at this shop? We'll take a look. I don't need any of those. Uh, what about this shop? But yeah, we're gonna play Stardew Valley tomorrow on stream, by the way, because we're all so excited about the update. <laughs> um, I was thinking about going live a little bit early so that we could stream longer, um, like as soon as the update comes out. Um, do I have these yet? I don't know. I don't really care. I just wanted to show chat how this works. When does it come out? He hasn't said, um, he said in the morning West Coast time. But what does morning West Coast time mean? I don't really know. So he hasn't given us, like, specifics yet about when the update will be. Um, but I'm hoping for at least early afternoon hour time, so... I'm in Eastern time, so <laughs> I say our time as if we're all the same. <laughs> but um, I'll go live at two at the latest, I think, Daisy. I may end up going live a little, I said two in the Discord. I may end up going live a little bit later. It depends how long it takes me to finish the video I'm going to record tomorrow, because I have to record a video for Wednesday tomorrow. Um, so depending on how long it takes me to finish said video, I'll go live once it's done recording, basically. <laughs> um, I probably should eat something first too, but then I will. Um, but two at the latest. If, if the update's out at like one and I finish, then I'll go live at one, you know? Um, but we'll, I'm not really sure what to expect tomorrow, so I'm guessing. Um, okay, get some leftovers. Oh, this child needs help. Maybe we can get Moss to bathe you. All right, 
Jort, if you're gonna be the heir, we need to get to work with your stuff too. Level three creativity skill, play pretend in treehouse. Oh God. You wish to play pretend in a treehouse? I do have one. Where I'm gonna put it, I'll never know. We may have to put one like at a park or something. You know? But we'll see about that. Maybe? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do in this room? I might put a little like crafty table for us. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn chat. That's my bad, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I might get one of these. I move the graves for each generation, Jamie. Yeah, I bring them with me whenever we moved. It's kind of a process to move them all. Um, but I do move them each time. Okay, so the next holiday should be Love Day. Maybe I'll make a romantic Love Day heart decoration or something. Um, we'll start there. Where's the poop? Oh, it's right here. Moss just said, ew. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, you need to get um, level 10 programming skill and level six charisma skill, oh boy. We're actually close to finishing some of this career, right? We're level nine. Yeah, you're actually really close to finishing this career. That's almost too easy. Okay, let's go program then. Oh. Oh, we can't afford the bills. Oh dear. What can I get for us here to help that problem? I guess I don't need two of those. I don't need those either. Let me see what Elphaba has that we can sell as well. I shouldn't have bought that death flower. I wasn't thinking. No, we'll be fine. We can sell most of these things. Because I'll get more of them. Ooh, let's go pay that. 6,279, yikes. All right, so you're working on this to try and get your creativity skill up. We might have you do a school project after that too. Um, and then I wanted to have us, uh, care to get the mail? I really want for this tree to grow. I know that it won't, can I make a copy of it? How about that? I haven't tried that, oh my God, look. <laughs> I really want the crystal tree to grow, but it takes a while. I just don't care to wait for it to grow. It's getting so boring to me waiting for these to grow in like all of my saves. Maybe I'll wait for the second one. How about that? What do you think of that? You know? Wow, that just paid, cared for the entire tree. You cheated yours? Yeah, I think it takes too long. Seven days is too much. If it took like four days, that would be more appropriate. It grew on its own. <laughs> Eris and Mule and Rhea and Sammy, thank you for the subs. You downloaded a crystal tree from the gallery and still had to wait seven in game days for it to grow? Oh no, did you get a full grown one or not? Did it like reset itself? That's so annoying. Yeah, seven days is so long in Sims time. And like the tiny house traits don't even work on it. It's really annoying. I find that very frustrating. Okay, it's a Monday. Do you wanna start over on that one? And maybe your sister, as soon as she finishes these, we'll work on that project too. Um, the picture was full grown, but it reset to a just planted tree. Oh, that is annoying. I'm sorry that happened to you. That is frustrating. Okay, would you care to go work on yours then? See if we can both get some skills up. Okay, but pregnancy is three days, make it make sense. Yeah, it's confusing, the, the order of all these things. It is confusing for sure. Okay, um, Kate, Eris, thank you for the subs. Maybe. I don't know. 
I guess you're just working on this. I'm trying to decide what is the best next use of our time. Oh, I can sell those toys too. A little bit of extra money from that. Okay. Um, I was gonna pick you another aspiration. What do you all think would be best for our next aspiration? Because we finished one. Um, I'm kind of thinking that it might be interesting for us to do like, I don't know. Oh, you think potions? Star Wars? <laughs> That's a different vibe, isn't it? The purveyor of potions one could be interesting. Because that's like kind of the next step. We've already done a lot of that, obviously. Brew five potions, no ten different potions. We could finish that like almost immediately if we try hard enough. We may as well work on that. What a poll. Who made this? <laughs> Which one of my mods did this? <laughs> Happy Orange Games, Kate. Thank you for the subs. You can like mischief, that's fine. Everybody's just skill building, kind of. Except for you, who's miserable. Ooh, sorry. Well, don't nap. Sleep for real. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. Oh, really, Caitlin? Wow. <laughs> for once, it was not me, says Tilly. No, it was C. It was C this time around. All right. Is there a reason you're outside? Are you going to help them? Oh no, you're just gonna talk to yourself. Okay, well I was gonna see if you wanted to brew some more potions. We don't have really like any of the stuff that we need for a lot of these. <laughs> um, but mostly the potion of plentiful needs is all I really care about. We're trying to get a whole bunch. Um, I love being able to teleport, that's so useful. <laughs> It makes this so much easier. All right, I might make Moss stay up until they finish this then. We may as well try. And then the kids, you two will probably go to bed because it's getting kind of late. All right, go to sleep. I'll have you like shower in the morning, probably before school. How do you teleport? Oh, it's because she's a spellcaster and she has the spell. Let me see. I'm using practice mat. No spells. Yeah, I have always transportalate on. I could click never transportalate, but I have always transportalate on. So she does that. All right. What's Moss's game called, chat? Any ideas? Something green themed could be good. Mm. We said it was gonna be about frogs, wasn't it? Were we gonna call it pocket frogs or something after the real life game? We were saying that they were making a frog game. I do owe you all a frog game, I think. We, Cause we did promise that. All right, well, we'll do another one next and that'll be different, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry about the toddler. The toddler's going to sleep. You know what? Sometimes you gotta cheat their needs a little bit just to make your life better. Okay. Everyone's in bed now. So we should be able to triple speed. Oh, and I should save the game. Oh, yikes. Yikes. What is the context of your blob CC outfit? Like what piece of media is it from? Blobby? Oh my goodness, you never heard of Blobby? Hold on. Blobby is from Hotel Transylvania. Um, and I have a Blobby CC. Let me show you who Blobby is, just so you understand what we're talking about. Um, this is Blobby, and we have CC of Blobby because get this, a couple years ago, when Hotel Transylvania 4 came out, this is back when Twitch had the watch parties feature, which by the way, they just killed this week. But they had this watch parties thing on Twitch where you could watch content that was on Amazon Prime through a watch party with your Twitch chat. And it would like stream my camera, but it would sync everybody's Prime video up together. 
Um, and then if you had Amazon Prime, then we could watch the thing together. Um, so like the you had to have the Prime video as well, obviously. Um, but it was cool. And we I got sponsored to do a watch party of Hotel Transylvania 4. I got paid to watch Hotel Transylvania 4 on stream. And they had this whole Sims campaign where they paid a bunch of CC creators to make custom content of Hotel Transylvania 4 stuff. So they paid a CC creator to make Blobby. It was actually really cool. They had like a whole Sims thing going on for it. Um, but yeah, I, I like, we downloaded the CC. We, someone built the hotel in the Sims 4. We like toured it and then we watched the movie. <laughs> it was kind of cute too. It was, I mean, obviously it's like kind of weird, the movie, but it was fun. I loved it. I thought it was good marketing, to be honest. Because I still have the Blobby CC in my game. But I liked it. It was a good time. It was a good time. I think we had cookies and stuff. It was good. Why did they kill the watch party feature? Um, I don't know exactly. They kill a lot of features that are not frequently used on Twitch. Um, they like experiment and then they say, oh, no one's using this. And then they get rid of it. Um, so... I mean, like, some people use it, but I don't think that it was used a lot, so they were like, it's not worth supporting this. Let's work on things that are new. Um, and so they got rid of it. It might also have to do with Amazon, like, cost cutting. I don't know if... I don't know. The whole thing was kind of weird, but... Uh-oh. Sorry for yawning again. It probably wasn't profitable to them um, to have the feature there. And Amazon doesn't make any money off Twitch. Twitch is losing money, so they're trying really hard to, like adjust and cut costs and stuff to save money because of it um but it sucks because there's a lot of features they keep making that and then killing before they even really have a chance to flourish but oh well when did the kids age up um oh god they barely just became children so <laughs> we have a while to go we have a long time to go um yeah, I think, I mean, I related to that too, Ox, with the watch parties, where, like, when you did it, not everybody could watch, because you had to have Amazon Prime also, and then we had to maybe be in the, in the same region, or at least have it be on both of our Amazon Primes, which I understand from, like, a legal standpoint why that is, because they need to have permission for you to stream it. Like, I wasn't streaming the movie, I was streaming myself, and the Twitch tool was just syncing our two Prime videos up so we could both watch it together. Because you can't just like stream somebody else's movie, you know? Some streamers do, but you can't do that. Um, so I understand like from a legal standpoint why it is that way. But it just kind of sucked that like not everybody had the same access to it all, you know? Oh my gosh, why do I keep yawning? I yawned like once and now all of a sudden it's a million times. Yikes, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, the ancient bloodline thing stems from, uh, this sim's grandparents have, like, they're, like, a long line of spellcasters, so we get some bonuses from it, which is kind of useful. Um, okay, you need to stay sleeping, though. My kids are having a hard time staying asleep today. Um, you have Prime, but it's your boyfriend's account, so it's not connected to your Twitch. That stinks, yeah. That really does stink. Um... Yeah, our Prime is on my account. Me and Dan's Prime. The ghost is still there. <laughs> that ghost has been swinging for ages. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, but she gets some really good bonuses with that. Look, with Ancient Bloodline, at least one of the Sims' parents had a strong or Ancient Bloodline trait. Sims with the Ancient Bloodline trait gain an additional talent point at each spellcaster rank to spend towards perks. They also gain spellcaster experience faster and reduce the chance of overloading by 50%. So it's pretty useful. Um, using your brother's prime? <laughs> no, you're so valid for that. There's no need to pay for so many of them. And it's Amazon. So, oh, use your repair spell. Wait. It's not like we, you know, do what you can to have them get less money off you. Like, I absolutely get it. Pulp, if you could please stop, that would be fantastic. Maybe I'll give Pulp a bath right now. See if we can fix it. Um. Okay, 
Okay, save game really quick. Kim, thank you for the four month resub. Ahoy and Kay Kelly and Marianne, thank you for the subs too. Um, it's annoying you can't sub with Prime through mobile. Yeah, um, they're not really, they really don't want it to be easy to sub with Prime. Um, they're trying to make it more difficult constantly because the thing about Amazon Prime subs is that it's losing them a lot of money. I tell you from experience, the majority of my Twitch subs are Prime subs. It's like really close to 50-50 paid subs and Prime subs, but I, I make, dare I say, most of my money on Twitch through Prime subs. Um, and they do, most streamers don't have that experience, I don't think. I think that's unique because a lot of people maybe come from my YouTube and only watch me on Twitch, so they don't really use it on other streamers, but um, they don't want to be paying out that much money to me or to other streamers through Prime. Like, they don't want you to use your Prime sub, right? They would much prefer if you didn't know it was there or you forgot to use it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so they are trying to nerf the Prime subs. They made them worth less money for the streamer recently. They've like tried to hide the button. It's not there on mobile. Um, you know, they're really trying to make it less. Um, why don't they remove the feature if they lose much money then? Well, they, they probably still want to offer it because it's such a staple of the community on Twitch. But I mean, the same thing goes for like just your regular Amazon Prime subscription. They would probably rather you not get free shipping, you know? Like best case scenario for them is if you don't use what you paid for on Amazon Prime, you know? If you don't watch the Prime video, if you don't, you know, order things on Amazon and get free shipping, best case scenario for them is you don't use that. They're still gonna offer it to you because that's like the thing, but they would rather you not use it and you just have, they just take your money, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, it also, I mean, it's a nice perk. They want to have, like, there's balance to it because they, as Amazon owns Twitch, and they do want people to be watching Twitch because they need more people to watch ads on Twitch because they're losing money on Twitch. So I'm sure that there's, like, some balance of, like, you know, how can we make this benefit us while also not be, like, a waste, you know? Um, but yeah, they're... I hope they never get rid of it. I don't know if they will, um, but just make sure you use your Prime sub. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Maybe you could come fix your fun need next. Um, if they ever got rid of Prime subs, um, that would be really detrimental, de detrimental for the Twitch community, I fear, um, because a lot of people on Twitch um, make a lot of money through those Prime subs. And we're not talking about like big streamers, right? Like we're talking about small creators that they're not, they're not wealthy people. Like they're, they're making enough to, to like get by sometimes, right? A lot of these creators. So if they got rid of those Prime subs, a lot of people in the community can't afford to subscribe without Prime, you know? Um, so it's, it's like a, a, I don't know, the negative effects span across a lot of <laughs> things. The creators are going to suffer. The community wouldn't have the ability to sub anymore for a lot of people. So yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. Um, but I don't think that they're planning on doing that. They've not uh, hinted towards that. I do think they're planning on increasing the cost of regular subs, but hopefully that doesn't happen either. I think they're really trying to experiment with ways they can steal more of your money. Um, but you think Amazon will do subscribers too? Yeah, I think a lot of people that watch Twitch, the Prime sub is a pretty massive benefit of Amazon Prime. I think the people are not really fans of Amazon, <laughs> obviously. Um, and uh, I, I think any excuse to cancel Prime would be like the, you know, the last straw for a lot of people. Um, I, I could totally see that a lot of people canceling if they got rid of Prime Sub. Um, but yeah, they're increasing the cost of subs in the UK, but my fear is that they're increasing the cost of subs in a few other countries and they're like, uh, like soft launching a potential sub cost increase for everywhere. Which I think is really bad. If they made it more than five US dollars, like five US dollars is kind of like a, it's a number that's easy to digest because it's it's such a like clean five dollar easy number. If you make it six, God forbid seven, like that, then all of a sudden it's like ooh, you know. Um, but 
I don't know. I don't like thinking about it. It kind of stresses me out. <laughs> hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, hopefully not. It's a lot more than that in a lot of other countries too um, already, but they're making it five pounds in the UK, right? It, what's wild to me is it used to be five pounds in the UK, which was significantly more than five dollars, right? Um, it used to be five pounds for ages, and they made a huge deal about lowering it to not be five pounds anymore. Um, and then <laughs> they're putting it back. <laughs> but they, they had previously made a big deal about lowering it down from five pounds because the community was like, it used to be like, it was, they're saying it was too expensive because it was so much more than it was in US dollars. Um, but now they're putting it back. So I guess it backfired. I don't know. Um, it's been a while, so. They did make it cheaper for a bit. Um, Cheddar, are you on mobile? It's more expensive on mobile. If I could offer you a single piece of advice, never subscribe to anyone on mobile. Don't buy bits on mobile. If you can avoid it, please don't ever do any of that because it is significantly more expensive and that money just goes to Apple or to like, you know, your other whatever phone provider you have because the, the app stores take a huge cut. Um, so subs and bits are more expensive on mobile. Um, because the, you know, the app store takes a massive cut of any in-app purchase. So Twitch increases the cost of the sub on mobile to make up for that. Um, but yeah, if, if you can avoid it, it's a, it's like a full dollar more to subscribe on mobile and that money just goes to Apple. <laughs> um, but that's, yeah, any in-app purchases like that everywhere. So very frustrating. Um, Okay. What on earth? I'm sorry if you all didn't know that. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's rough out there. <laughs> it's rough out there. If you could like cancel and then and then switch your sub to be on desktop, it would be a little bit better for you. Um, Cause you don't want to spend extra money for Apple of all like, or to Samsung or whatever, you know, like um, Google, you know, all these things. <laughs> um, it's, it's the same, it, all the app stores take massive cuts. So, um, Anyway, I think we'll have it speed up so we can get through tonight. Get home from school and stuff. It's not more expensive on Mac, it's it's mobile, it's the app. The Twitch app um, is the problem. If you're using the app instead of the browser, um, that's where the app stores across all the platforms are like, I'm getting a cut of that. <laughs> um, I'm taking my money from that. They, there's a there's huge drama about this for like other platforms too. Um, there was big drama about Fortnite on mobile a while back because uh, Fortnite was mad about like the app store trying to take cuts of their in-app purchases in Fortnite. Um, and so they were like, we're gonna pull our game from the app store. Like, there, like there's been lots of drama about this for a long time. Um, same thing, but the app, the app store takes cuts of every in-app purchase, so. Um. <sighs> Mental fog, oh my god. Yikes. Yeah, it's still drama. They're like literally suing Apple over it. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> um, the, the news first broke about this a long time ago, but um, yeah, there's it's like still going on, <laughs> this drama. Um, but yeah. No, Twitch doesn't take cuts of my fundraisers. I don't I don't use the Twitch app or anything for fundraisers. Um, I do use Tiltify and Tiltify takes a teeny, teeny percentage of fundraisers just because they have to have like pay the cost to run Tiltify. Tiltify is not like making a lot of money, right? Um, so they take a tiny cut, but um, charities for the most part, like all of these charities put themselves on Tiltify on purpose. Um, they know what they're getting into, you know, like they're not mad about that. Um, so uh, it's, I think like it's worthwhile for like the tools that are offered by Tiltify, you know, like it kind of balances out. Um, Twitch has a charity tool now too, but it is, it just uses the PayPal giving fund and it's nice because it's integrated into Twitch. So there's like a donate button on Twitch and stuff, um, but it doesn't have any of the tools that I use on Tiltify. So you think about like, you know how I um, will do like rewards where I'll mail people a sticker and stuff on Tiltify. I can't like collect any of that information through the Twitch charity tool. Um, all of the like various like incentive things that I do and like the polls that we do and all of these things on Tiltify that are so useful. Um, you can't do any of that through the Twitch charity tool. Um, and it 
I, it makes for a less effective fundraiser in my experience. Plus with Tiltify, um, I can like share the link broadly across all my social media. Like I can use it on Twitch and pin it in my Twitch chat, but I can also put it in my YouTube description box and I can put it on my Twitter and I can put it on my Instagram story. But when using the Twitch charity tool, what am I gonna do? Link my Twitch channel and say, come donate to my charity stream, twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. Like, and then people don't wanna use it when you're offline because it's kind of weird and it's like just Twitch, like, I don't know. It's um, so Tiltify is like better, broad, more broadly because you can use it everywhere and stuff. Um, I have I have a lot of strong opinions about this after having done a lot of fundraising <laughs> online. Um, I I'm actually really frustrated that Twitch, um, like built out the Twitch charity tool because they they knew that the community used Tiltify and that Tiltify was so integrated into the Twitch community. And like Tiltify used to go to TwitchCon and have a big charity booth at TwitchCon and host like charity streams at TwitchCon. And then Twitch went behind their back and built a separate worse tool instead of like working, like what I think would have been ideal would have been to work with Tiltify to integrate Tiltify into Twitch as opposed to building your own worst thing. You know, like it, it just feels very strange and like kind of shady. They went around them and, and did this. Oh my God, here we go. Um, but I don't really, I really don't understand um, the, the mindset behind what Twitch did there. Twitch does use the PayPal giving fund. So there's a lot of charities like already on it. Um, but Tiltify is also an established tool. So I don't know. Um, and Pulp aged up into an elder. Oh my God. Okay, we'll have to fix that too then. Yikes. Um, I think I should have an age down treat in my inventory somewhere. No, Twitch doesn't take any cut of the fundraiser. Um, and it doesn't ever touch Twitch at all. It, uh, it just goes straight to the PayPal giving fund stuff. Um, and then straight to the charity, but. Um, okay. So, age down tree. I do have one left for you, Pulp. Oh my god, it's so creepy when Pulp gets old. Yikes. Give vet treat, age down treat, please and thank you. Oh my. Alright, problem solved. <laughs> We're back to normal. <laughs> Simply enough, Mrs. Beasley and Dad and Ghosty, thank you for the subs. Um, but. Yeah, I need to buy more. We should probably go out and get some more right now, to be honest. Maybe I'll do that now. We'll head out. Restock. <laughs> uh, let me go to the cats and dogs world and we'll grab some. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for listening to my little rant about the charity fundraising stuff. I, look. I think, personally, I would consider myself a bit of an expert on Twitch charity fundraising. <laughs> if the, if anybody knows a lot about fundraising on a live stream, <laughs> like, <laughs> and that's also like, why didn't Twitch like talk to people that do stuff like this when they built the tool? You know, I just, it's very strange to me. Anyway. Um, anyway. Oh, we could have used the copy spell on the treat. That's true. I didn't really think about that. Um, let me just buy some more. It's fine. It's not that expensive. Um, but we can, we can grab some. The age down treats are fine. Um, I might get myself some more wellness treats just while we're here too. I'll pay like a thousand bucks for it and we'll go back. Um, okay, we shall start there and then we'll go back to, I'm lost. Hemford on Bagley, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that was really kind of scary. I really was like fully lost just then. Um, Okay, sorry. So let me load into our house here. We've had pulp since the orange generation. So um, we've had uh, quite a few. Uh, also, cause chat's asking, our next charity fundraiser is on the 30th. So in like two weeks, um, Saturday, like two weeks from now. Um, and it's for the National Center for Transgender Equality. We're gonna um, do some simming that day and raise some money. Um, I've got, I bought really cute little pride stickers and I also, maybe, should I show you? Maybe I'll show you now. Shella, this is, guys, no leaks, no spoilers, okay? I'm telling my friends a secret right now. Um, but I like to buy cards for everyone. 
um, to like mail out as a donation incentive. And I can show you what the card is. Um, Shella drew this for me that I'm gonna put on the card. Look at how cute that is. No leaks, no spoilers, but I'm gonna buy cards with this on it. And then it's, it's cute because it's kind of like a little print that you can hang up if you wanted to. Um, but how adorable is that? <laughs> um, so I thought you would like it, but anyway, we're, we're gonna buy some cards with these on it this year. Um, thank you to Shella <laughs> for doing that. Um, I asked her and I was gonna pay her and she said, I'm not accepting money. Um, donate to the charity. And then I said, thank you, Shella, that's very kind of you. So she did this to me for free. Um, she did it without me having to um, do anything for her. So <laughs> uh, thank you, Shella, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, the kittens are just so cute and I love I love the flag. I love that she put it like in the tail too. Like just how funny is that? I don't know. I really like it. Um, so thank you again, Chella. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Um, okay, so we've got everything organized. Um, and then... I don't think Pulp needs any more help. What I do need is to work on my charisma skill, I guess. So maybe I'll go, don't practice acting. Maybe I'll go practice some speech for a while while we're feeling confident. And you need to get your logic and gardening skills up. So we'll do that too. Okay. Um, very nice. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our plan for that week. We had, so I did, I had like a meeting with the charity, which was so interesting because I don't usually do that. Usually I do it all by myself, but I had a meeting with the charity about it. Um, and they were like brainstorming some ideas because some of the folks who work there are like huge fans of the Sims. Um, and one of the ideas that the person had that I think I'm going to do, get this, townhouses in trans pride flag colors. So it's like a row of townhouses in the colors of the pride flag. How fun is that? Like, isn't that gonna be cute as well? I love the concept. So we're gonna do that, I think, that day. That's not for like two weeks, but we're gonna, we'll do that. Um, which I think is just so fun. <laughs> like, I just love it. I think it's gonna be really good. We'll make it really fun and cute and colorful. And it's just, I'm gonna, I think it'll be a good time. Um, but, okay. Um, so you need to go back and work on the school projects a bit more probably so that we can get our skills up more. Don't destroy it. Oh my God, wrong Sim. You work on that one. You work on that one. Okay, very good, very fine. Um, all right, and then you are, I was gonna have you work on your logic skill, wasn't I? And then you got distracted. All right, we'll triple speed and have them work on this. Um, that'll be the 30th of March. So again, in like two weeks-ish, a little less than. Um, Moss will age up soon, are you kidding? <gasps> Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm not ready for that. Oh my, wow, okay. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, they're just gonna be an adult, but that makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna go to this park. I think my new plan, I'm gonna put a tree house down at this park because the Sim wants to play in the tree house for their aspirations. So we could put this down. Um, We'll put the treehouse down and then we will uh, play it in. I might have to cheat it, but that's fine by me. I don't really care. Um, but no, the game's not lagging anymore. The second reload fixed it, so we should be okay. Um, yeah, it is um, It is Easter holiday weekend. Uh, the trans day of visibility is on the 31st of March, um, which is actually Easter <laughs> this year. Um, but we're we're doing the charity stream around then because of that, so. Um, okay. I'm gonna get a tree house. Do you think if I get a tree house off the gallery, it'll come full grown, full built? <laughs> Sorry. Um, not full grown, that doesn't make any sense. Um, oh, most of the tree houses we're gonna find are, are like ones that people have built custom unrelated to the functional treehouse in game. I think a treehouse out in the middle of the park isn't that weird, right? Okay, you wanna play pretend in the treehouse. We'll go do that. Fairy castle. Fairy tale castle. <laughs> okay. Um, 
No. <laughs> That's our uncle. I don't really want to hang out with him. So. The treehouse comes with growing together if you're looking for it. Now you want to stargaze. I can get home in time to do that, too. Um, so we'll go over there and start there. What happens if you claim the clown but don't have Discord? Um, that's never happened before. <laughs> um, if you, I guess, I mean, I might save my points if I were you, Cream, um, rather than claiming it. But I, I guess we'd get, we, we'd say, I don't know, we, we'd put a little mark on your profile that's like we owe you the clown roll, but you don't have the Discord or something. I don't know. Um, but you'd have to get, to get the clown roll, you have to claim the other three, the like egg, weenie, and rick rolls, the egg roll three times first. Um, and then the clown roll, but it hasn't happened yet. It's a million points, so it's not like it's, um, doesn't happen. No, very few people have it, <laughs> basically. <laughs> very few people, uh, have that discord roll. Um, it's quite the exclusive club, so... Anyway, you don't have to, like, do it. Um, I actually quite like using Discord. I know not everybody loves, maybe ma they get scared of our server in particular or something, but I don't think our server is that scary. Um, and I, I really, if you find the right places, that maybe is our community, maybe it's not, but if you find the right places, um, Discord is really, uh, it can be really special. There's a lot of um, cool communities on there. Um, there's obviously bad parts, but you don't have to talk to them there if you don't want to. Um, but you can really find stuff that, like, fits your interests, you know? If you love Stardew Valley, you can join some Stardew Valley communities. You know, like, there's lots of, um, places that you can be. I will say that our community is, um, in my biased opinion, quite safe <laughs> because we mod it pretty heavily, um, and you won't always find stuff like that everywhere, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of cool places to be on Discord, so. I understand the, like, the nerves about interacting with strangers, though. Oh my god, again? <sighs> That's so annoying. Can you put the fire out, Moss? It's okay. Too complex for you? Yeah, I understand. I give Discord can be overwhelming. Um, but you were over the fire toilet. <laughs> I think I might be over the fire toilet at this point too, Christine. It's gone a little bit too far for me. Um, we'll see about that. I don't know. Now I'm too tense to moon gaze. We have to wait until tomorrow now. Oh, we have to sleep in a treehouse for six hours. I forgot about that. I may put that in my inventory for a bit because I'm a little over this right now. Just for today. Um... Okay, so you use the bathroom. Maybe you take a shower because you're a bit stinky after you eat. Then you can go to sleep. I guess we'll send everybody to sleep. Are you getting bathed? Oh, now let's come get bathed by Moss. When I said mods were a volunteer fire department, I was thinking figuratively. <laughs> oh. Gray, I think, is um, is before orange, Jazzy. Let me show you. Um, so this is the orange gen. Um, and before that is the purple gen. And then gray is this one. So um, this, this is the generation that pulp is from. Or pulp like orange juice. We've been playing for a while. Um, yeah, gray is after the yellow gen. Gray is gen 4, technically. Um, okay. You are so cold. Oh, really, Tilly? I'm sorry. Are we gonna get a bath? How cold is it outside right now for you, Tilly? Um, it's actually extremely hot outside here. Oh no, it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit. That isn't that bad. That isn't that bad. In Celsius, um, that would be 26. It was hot earlier, though. Sorry to brag. Feels like negative 10 Celsius right now. Oh, good. Okay. That's lovely. <laughs> Melissa, nuclear, Nick, and Q, thank you for the subs. Um, 
You know, the temperature to pick one thing and stay there. Yeah, I'm sorry that you all have had some wacky temperatures recently. Um, where I live, it's been consistently pretty warm for a couple weeks, and that's making me uncomfortable. I fear that um, the good weather is gone in Florida. It's about to just get hot and hot and then hotter than that. So. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Congrats on being awake. Go to sleep. Moss, you go to sleep too. Do you have work tomorrow? Yes. No. Oh, you don't. Okay, we have days off, so that means we can work more on our skill building. Um, you're headed to Disney World tomorrow. Oh, soaring. Have the best time. That's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty fun. Okay, you're going to sleep too. Simmer, Melissa, Nuclear. Thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Well... What's the temperature like in game? <laughs> What's the weather like looking like right now? It's um not too bad. It's a little chilly, but it's gonna be sunny and stuff soon. Okay. Um Yeah, I know better winner. I, I think about that all the time, um, about the kittens, particularly about Frankie, because um, not everybody, uh, as many of you probably know, people don't like black cats. Um, a lot of people are, like have weird superstitions about black cats and they don't want to adopt black cats. Um, and we had found four black cats in the sewer, Frankie, obviously the mom, and then the three babies. And I don't, the babies would have had an easier time getting adopted because they were kittens. Um, maybe it would have been easier if they weren't all black, but Frankie, their mom, people don't want to adopt an adult kind of skittish stray who just had babies who is also a black cat. Like, she had cards stacked against her. <laughs> so it's a real um, cool thing that my parents, like, my sister is the one who really, like, pushed for it, but my parents adopted her, um, and I think that's really nice that they were able to do that because I, like, worried about what would have happened to her if she had to go somewhere else, you know? Um, but... She's with us now. Can't get away from us. <laughs> um, wasn't Frankie only like one? Yeah, she was only like one, but um, people don't really like to adopt adult pets. They would much prefer to adopt a kitten. Um, and uh, which honestly is not very smart because if you adopt an adult cat, it'll be so much nicer to you and easier to take care of. If you get kittens, you have to get two kittens. And I speak to you from experience, you don't want just one kitten. It'll be a menace. Um, kitten phase is kind of intense, so <laughs> getting two kittens is really good because they will be, uh, they will take care of each other a little bit and they'll, uh, tire each other out, teach each other how to play. Um, uh, but adult cats are really special. It's just not everybody wants to have an adult pet because they love the idea of a puppy. They love the idea of a kitten, so. Um, anyway. You got one kitten and he is still a menace as an adult. Yeah, well, I don't think a lot of people realize this, but it's so much better um, to get, like, when you have single cats, they um, can be quite chaotic. Not always, but uh, single kittens, they don't have as long with their siblings to learn how to play nice. Um, they don't have a sibling to, like, take out their energy with. <laughs> uh, they, they do a lot better in pairs. Um, and uh, obviously, like, not all cats are raised as pairs, but, um, single kittens aren't always as good. They benefit a lot. No, people ask that all the time. Kittens do not, I think people try to, like, project dog onto cat. Um, people talk about, like, litter mate syndrome and, like, all this stuff when you have, because you aren't supposed to get two puppies at once, right? It's not good because you can't dedicate appropriate attention to each. They get, like, very attached. They have issues. Um, cats are, like, the opposite of that. Um, people really project that dog stuff they know onto cats. Nobody knows anything about cats, it seems like. <laughs> um, like, even, like, people that have pets, people don't take cats as seriously as they do dogs, but cats are kind of the opposite in that way. Um, dogs, bad to have two. Cats, good to have two. <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of the opposite there, um, so. You might not think it if you have experience with dogs, but it's the opposite with cats. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> You have two dogs? Yeah, a lot of people have two dogs. It's just not good to get two puppies at once. Um, not best to get two puppies at once. Um, you want to have, like, time between them, you know, so that they can be appropriately cared for and trained and everything. Shella, we were just talking about you! 
<laughs> I had just showed them the the picture that you drew, the little cat picture. Um, welcome in. We're playing the not so very challenge today. Uh, my Sims are all asleep, and I'm, my house is haunted, so I can't triple speed. But <laughs> we're playing the not so very challenge today. Um, we're making some good progress. I've got a 283 graves. Um, we're thriving, and we're talking about cats. We were just discussing. Um, uh, getting two kittens and things like that. <laughs> the follows were coming in. Oh yeah, because we had talked about it. We, we shouted Shella out. She probably knew we were talking about her. <laughs> People in the chat probably came in and told her. Um, but it's good to see you, Shella. Um, okay, so... Let me sell this too. Get rid of that thing. Alright, Moss has the day off tomorrow. We are experiencing burnout. Huge yikes. Huge yikes. Maybe I can give Moss a little potion of plentiful needs. Um, thing. And we can try and fix this and go work on, like, skill building, perhaps. Um, you have three black and white kitties and cats are truly the best. Oh, I, you, I love cats. I, my life has improved so much in the past couple of months. Does it not work on you when you were a, a human? Um, my life has improved so much when, since having the three cats in my house. Um, because obviously I always had one cat. I never anticipated that I would end up with three. Certainly could not have guessed that the time that I did get them, I would have gotten cats because, you know, I just found them randomly. But it is so nice having all of these creatures in my house. <laughs> like, I go downstairs. When I get off stream, I'm going to go downstairs and make dinner. I'm going to be swarmed by cats. I'm going to sit on the couch. I'm going to be swarmed by cats. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to be swarmed by cats. Like, all at all times of the day, there's three cats just around me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, it's so cool. I really, I love having them in the house. It's such a special thing to have this like little family of creatures that I have found. <laughs> um, I really, really like it. And they're all getting so cuddly and it's just really cool. So anyway, I love my little cats. I love my little cats. Over the weekend, so my parents were dog sitting this weekend. My parents have three dogs. Um, and they were dog sitting over the weekend, a puppy for a friend. Um, they, we had, they have a friend who like also has Roddy's like they do and their friend like dog sits for us when we need her. So she has a puppy and um, my parents were like, yeah, we can dog sit. This one's a puppy though. I don't know how old it is. I think it's like 20 weeks old. It's like a little puppy, only small puppy. Um, but they're dog sitting this little puppy. And so I went to go see it yesterday. Oh my God, the thing is so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. My parents' dogs, I still think of them as being puppies. They're not, they are like 13 like 11 and eight. <laughs> so they are not puppies anymore for, for dogs, uh, Rottweilers especially, they're actually getting kind of old. Um, so I, I still think of them, especially Captain, the one who's eight, as being like the puppy. But seeing him next to this actual puppy, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> he's, he's old and huge. Oh, this burnt, hold on. Let me see if I can find you a picture of, of the puppy. Um, let me make sure there's not any collars or tags in the way either, so I don't like leak anybody's information. Um, but you guys, it is so cute. Oh, I think I showed you all this one. This is my sister holding her. Um, the puppy's name is Adele. Um, let me send it to Dan on Discord so I can pull it up. Um, and show you the pictures, but it's so cute. <laughs> no, Captain is not a puppy anymore. He's bigger than I am. He weighs more than I do. Um, let me see. I'm scrolling to see if I can find a picture of me with her that is not unreasonable. Oh, this one's kind of cute. Hold on. I can show you this one. Okay, little dog. Let me send this to Dan on Discord too. Um, Discord. Okay, wait until you see this. I've not been around a puppy in years either, like since my parents' dogs were puppies. Look at this little thing. Oh my god. And she's so like shiny and soft. <laughs> Here's a picture of me sitting with her and with Captain, um, who I think of as being a puppy, but is decidedly not a puppy anymore. <laughs> um, but look at how cute she is. She's a little baby. <laughs> oh, she's so small and cute. She's actually not that small. She's like the size of a medium sized dog. <laughs> but look at her little face. And she's got these giant paws, you know? because they're like, puppies are so awkwardly sized because their feet get huge because they haven't grown into them yet. Um, she's really sweet. She is really sweet. She's chaotic. 
but she's really sweet. Captain has been loving having her there because um, my parents' other two dogs, he's the youngest one, um, he's eight. Uh, he's the one that had his toe amputated a couple months ago. He had the like, toe cancer that had to get amputated, huge yikes. Um, it's actually blood cancer that manifested in his toe. But anyway, um, he's, his family or other dogs are like slowing down a lot more. Like Bimmy does not really get around as much. She can't run as much anymore and stuff. So he can't really play with her cause she's like 11, you know? Um, and so he's been really having fun playing with the puppy because they can play loads. <laughs> um, and like, you know, she can keep up with him more. <laughs> um, can he keep up with her? I don't know. But he's been having a lot of fun playing with her. It's been nice that they've, um, they've been there. So anyway, that's just, they're just dog sitting that dog and she's home now. Um, but it was fun to dog sit her and have a puppy around. <laughs> um, yeah, I was wearing a Sims t-shirt and I went to the grocery store on my way home from seeing the puppy and this person stopped me and she was like, oh my God, the Sims. I love the Sims. And then I was like, yeah, me too. And it made, it made Dan laugh because he was like, she doesn't know you're a Sims YouTuber. That's a random person. They have no idea, <laughs> but they're like the Sims. <laughs> One of us, one of us. Um, okay, would you like to maybe play some games on this computer instead? Or perhaps program instead? I need to get rid of your burnout too, but I won't worry about that right now. Um, come on. Oh, really, Anne? That's so cute. Yeah, honestly, having been around that puppy, I gotta be real with you. It is kind of solidified my desire to not ever get a puppy. <laughs> At least not for like a long time. I, I would adopt a dog at some point in my life, but I would probably adopt an adult dog. I Puppies are so adorable, but my God, the level of chaos of having a puppy in your house is like puppies are something else, you know? <laughs> um, I, I really... Um, yeah, I don't really have any desire to get a puppy of myself, <laughs> so I would I would like to adopt an adult dog, I think, um, later in my life when I do get a dog. <laughs> Perhaps a senior dog, you know? Um, I love having Snap. Um, obviously, I didn't adopt her as a senior. We adopted Snap when I was a child. Um, I actually, oh my god, I found pictures of Snap as a kitten yesterday. Do you want to see this? You're just gonna like die when I show you these pictures. Hold on. Um, let me scroll back because I sent it to my parents, I'm pretty sure. Um, or they're not showing up in my text with my parents. That's so annoying. Wait, hold on. Um, I'll find it for you. But we definitely Snap when I was nine. Um, but Snap being old like she is, um, she is a very special creature. There is a, a real beauty to senior animals and to helping them in their later years, you know? Um, wait, which one do I want to show you? Probably this one. Okay, I've got a good picture for you of baby Snap. And baby me. <laughs> and like, basically my mom is a baby too, because this was like 16 years ago. <laughs> um, but wait until you see this, hold on. It's a, it's an old picture. Keep in mind, but look at that. That's the day that we adopted her. Wait, zoom in. <laughs> You're so little. <laughs> um, but that's me and her. So literally Lil Simsy. Yeah, I was like blonde back then, yeah, when I was a kid. Um, my hair was a lot lighter. The way she's just kind of flopped over, yeah. <laughs> In her little belly, she was so cute. <laughs> is my hair dyed? No, no, my hair is just like this naturally. Um, I used to spend a lot more time outside when I was young. And also um, people when they're younger just have light, like a lot of people that have light hair when they're young, it gets darker when they get older. Um, but I've had brown hair for a long time, so. Uh, this was only when I was very young. <laughs> it was, it got less light when I was like 13, you know. Um, be a little snappy. That's my little cat. So, very cute. Your hair darkened with age too? Yeah, my dad and my brother still have pretty light hair, naturally. Um, my dad has like a very dirty blonde hair still to this day. Um, even as an adult, but... Um, would you like to get some leftovers? Ew, there's like spoiled pizza in there, that's disgusting. 
Then you want to stargaze, but only tonight after school. Oh, you can't have leftovers anymore. Sorry, it's too late. Um, looks like she's wiggling all over the place. Yeah, I mean, she probably was. <laughs> she probably didn't want to be held by me. I wouldn't want to get held by some random kid either. Um, the day that I'm getting adopted. I mean, think about how scary that must be for a cat. Like, the day that they have to be adopted and stuff. Um, but, anyway. Go away. We'll get rid of this too. Um, who is this strange child? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want to worry about... Alphaba, I said I'm gonna put you into work for real, right? I need to have you work on your gardening skills some more. I guess you can't really do that either. Oh, save game. Mm. Yikes. You think she was happy anyway? Snap actually, she got along so quickly with our, let me see if I can show you some more pictures. Um, I have some really cute photos. My, um, there's the pictures of like her and our dog, like her cuddling up against the dog, which is absolutely adorable. Um, I have pictures of like her and my little brother when she was only tiny small. Wait, I want to show you this picture of her and Brett. Because <laughs> you can see her face a little bit better in this one. Hold on. Um, let me pull it up. <laughs> she was so little and so was my brother. Sorry, Brett, for like showing your photos on online, but... Um, look at how small she was when we got her. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? And now this child is 20 years old. Isn't that wild? And this child is almost 16 years old. Um, but look at how little and small she was. <laughs> I look so much like him. Yeah, I look a lot like my brother. They're making the same, like, weird squinty face, aren't they? <laughs> Um, but yeah, me and Brett look a lot alike, for sure. Um, you have a kitten that looks just like her, really? Yeah. She was so cute. She still is cute, but... Yeah, I look a lot like my sister as well. My sister, um, she, like, dyes her hair and stuff, so she doesn't look as much, like, as obviously like me. Um, but... Anyway. <laughs> He's looking a little tired on this one. Yeah, he kinda is. <laughs> Oh, but she's very sweet. It was, it's fun to look back at those old pictures of Snap because she was so small. Did you miss puppy pics? Oh, no, I don't have any dog pictures. I was just showing pictures of Snap when she was a baby. Um, and I didn't get a dog. My well, I was, my parents have the, the dog that we had when I was a kid. Um, he passed away when I was like 13, but um, Snap was quite close to him. So. Had to pause the stream and show baby Snappy photos to the whole family. <laughs> That's so cute. That is so cute. Oh, oh, sorry, Moss. I didn't realize you were so tired. Whoops, here, you can go to bed. Um, Pi was an icon. Oh, wait, I have a good picture of Pi, too. Wait, hold on. Pi was um, the cat that we had when I was a kid. This is an older picture of Snap, uh, or like a newer one, whatever. She's older in it. But this is our my childhood cat, Pi. I can show you Pi, too. Just because I had all these like ready on my phone easily. Um, Pi was a funny cat. Though she had a funny name as well. <laughs> I don't know when this picture was taken. Um, also, this is funny. My parents' house looks nothing like this anymore. She doesn't. We don't have these sofas anymore because they got kind of ruined by the dogs. Um, but that's Snap and that was Pi. Um, <laughs> I don't know how old she would have been. Pi died when she was like 18 and I was 11. So I don't know when this picture was taken, but Pi's looking a little scraggly in that. So she was probably kind of old at that point, but I'm not sure. Um, but a very Florida living room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of funny looking back, on it, looking back on it, but she was looking a little, as Tilly says, scrunkly in this. <laughs> um, but that was Pi. And then she died. This is weird and shiny, this picture, because it's a picture of a picture, but... Um, your hamster's in his scrunkly era now? I know. I know. Looks like a painting, the living room. It actually looks really nice. My parents' house does not look anything like this anymore. They don't- they can't have rugs in the house because of the dogs. They have- they don't have a chair here anymore, they have a couch here still, but they- they have to cover it with a blanket because the, they don't want the dogs to ruin it. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. So it's things are a little different these days now that we have three dogs. <laughs> the tile, you don't like the tile? I hate tile. In Florida, tile is like this is everywhere. There's tile in our bedrooms like this in my parents' house. They put this like this squared beige tile everywhere. Beige walls, beige tile. Look at their fish lamp. My parents really like fish. You can see they have a screened in porch with the like big screen cage thing. Um, why can't they have rugs because of the dogs? Well, because the dogs are kind of dirty and they used to have accidents on the rugs. They're not as bad anymore, but when they were puppies and stuff, they like rolled the rugs up and now dogs, just mess dogs, too many big dogs. They, they roll around in the dirt outside and come track it into the house. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> and they, the dogs have all black fur on this light beige tile. It's a mess. It's a mess. But it's okay. <laughs> oh, really, Christine? Yeah, I think they would probably have an easier time stepping on, um, like, not tile. I agree. Um, but, yeah, they don't really have many rugs in the house. Um, isn't it also dangerous having tile everywhere? What, in the house? Why? Like, cause it's slippy? I don't know. They didn't pick it. The house came like that. <laughs> if, if, when you're in Florida, so many houses, like, like all houses have tile everywhere. The same beige tile everywhere. Um, it's very common. I think that it's, um, I mean, tile, I guess, like, stays kind of cool, so that's nice, but it's very, very Florida to have tile everywhere. Um, it's just because it's cheaper. I don't know, because tile is kind of expensive, but even in, like, cheap houses, they put tile everywhere. And wood warps in humidity and stuff, too, so there's that as well. It's, like, a more practical flooring, I guess, for a place like this. Um, a lot of, like, hot, humid places have tile floors, so, um, it's just better for the weather, I guess. Um, well, we have carpet. They, it's not like it gets moldy in the humidity with the carpet, because, um, a lot of places have carpet, like, in the bedrooms and stuff, um, but what floors do I have? We have wood floors in our house. They, there were wood floors in this house. This house is older, though. Um, so that's probably part of it, but there, there were wood floors here too when we bought it. They had wood floors and then tile in the kitchen and carpet in the bedrooms. Um, and we replaced it, so. The wood floors were quite old and they said that if we sanded them down, it wasn't like, it wasn't like solid hardwood, it was like, you know, whatever the thin stuff is. Um, and they were like, if you sand it down again to refinish it, then it, you won't be able to, like, it won't, it can't be sanded anymore. So, we put in new, same floors everywhere, um, in this house, but. Um, yeah, I know, right, Flip? It's like the tile everywhere is so normal to me, but I understand that it's quite weird if you're not from a place that has it. And, like, the beige tile is kind of ugly if you're not from a place that's, like, where it's normal. Um, I, I get it. <laughs> it is kind of ick. And then in my bathroom at my parents' house, that same, like, big beige square tile, they put that, like, in the shower on the walls. They just use, they got, like, one kind of tile and put it everywhere. In the whole house. <laughs> uh, when, they, when they built it, whoever built it, they just put the same beige tile everywhere. <laughs> I do not like the beige tile. Um, I find it icky, but it's okay. It's of its era. Now everybody does the gray laminate. That's like the new era is gray laminate everywhere. Um, it was a popular tile. I bet it was just the cheapest kind, the big beige ones, because they're everywhere here. Um, so, you hate gray laminate? I hate gray laminate too. I hate everything being gray. I still think that everything being gray is better than everything being beige. I can't get over, like, the beige tile floor, the beige walls, the beige carpet. I think beige is worse than gray still. I hate beige tile. I just, I think it's because I grew up with it, but I just don't like it at all. Um, I don't like gray laminate floors though. I wouldn't ever pick a gray flooring, I don't think. Maybe a gray carpet I would pick, but not a gray laminate floor. I'm okay with gray walls. It's not ideal, but... I don't know. 
Your floors are sadly gray. Yeah, a lot of people's floors are gray. And it was trendy for a time, so a lot of people, like, you know, put them in then and stuff. Um, beige has a warmth, though. Yeah, that's true. It does have- it's a little bit, like, cozier than the gray, I guess. But I still just can't get over the beige tile. I don't like it. And then, cut to- I guess I have- there's a rug here, but cut to this room. I got beige- you can't- oh, there's brown beige floor in here with the wood. <laughs> but it's different when it's wood. It's different, you know? <laughs> I like this rug. I don't know if you can see it that well. This is an Ikea rug. It's kind of got like pink and green little dots to it. It's cute. Um, maybe I show you. Hold on. I take a picture of the floor so you can get a good idea of the vibes. You can- oh. Okay, my carpet looks like it needs vacuumed. I swear I just did, but don't judge me, okay? There's- I can see a- the reason I said that is because I can see a, like, pine needle from the Christmas tree. And that's embarrassing. But listen! It happens. Yes, it's March. Yes, there's still a pine needle from the Christmas tree on there. I don't know how it's there. I have vacuumed. I swear it. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you my rug, okay? <laughs> you can't have a strict dynamic, I hate that. They get everywhere! The cat's probably, like, tracked it out from underneath the couch or something. I have a chair back there. So that's why, okay? That's why. All right, look, I'll show you. Here, I'll zoom out so it's less obvious there's pine needles. <laughs> look, so I have that rug and that's what the floors look like. There you go. It's like glitter, you know? You find them year-round, it happens. <laughs> I think it's cute though, I like that rug. Ikea, thank you, Ikea. Okay, um, the baby probably needs fed and bathed. I'll probably bathe you first. Give Smurf a, ba Smurf a bath. These kids are gonna need to go to sleep soon. But we can work on that later. Is it a cozy rug? Yeah, I like it. It's a nice rug. Um, solid purchase. I find rugs really difficult to shop for because they're quite expensive a lot of the time. This one was reasonably priced, which was a win. Um, and it was also, like, comfortable. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I find rugs kind of hard to buy because they're, like, so expensive and stressful. Um, you got the same rug because you liked mine? I like this rug. Let's see if we can find it on the Ikea website. Ikea rug. I show you. Um, what do you think? What category do you think it's in? Oh, it's this one. Oh, that's more expensive than I thought it was. It's $229. It's this rug. That's a little pricier than I thought. <laughs> I thought it was like $150, but it was worth it. It was a solid purchase. I like this rug. Um, okay. 229 for a rug. You should, Allie, you should look at other rugs online. The rugs could be like a thousand dollars. It depends what kind of rug you're getting and where you're buying it from because they make like thin pile ones that are like more reasonably priced. But if you want it, if like rugs can be so expensive. Rugs are like wildly priced. <laughs> Especially if it's like a, like a thick good quality rug or whatever, but they can be so much money. When I went to the estate sale on Saturday, they had like runners that in the in the entryway that were for sale. I swear to you, they were six thousand dollars for a used rug in this. It was like a fancy house, and and they it was like they said it was like you know Turkish rug or whatever. They said it was like you know, I guess it was like fancy hand woven or something. But they were trying to charge six thousand dollars for a runner in an estate sale. I don't go to estate sales, that was my first ever time, so maybe I'm out of the loop, but to me that seemed a little bit unreasonable. <laughs> that seemed like no one's gonna buy that. <laughs> but if it's like, a, I mean, it probably was very expensive when they bought it. Um, I don't know if it was like real, I don't know. Um, 
Your dad bought a Turkish rug for 4,000 pounds. It's now a family heirloom. Oh my God. Yeah, they had some really pricey art in that house too in the estate sale. There were some things, it was like the cheapest art they had in there was like $600 ranging to like $4,000. It was kind of fun to look at. Um, but like, obviously I wasn't trying to buy any of that. I bought this little ceramic duck statue for, for I paid $24 for two little ceramic duck statues in there. And it was worth it. They were pretty cute. Um, but yeah, the, I don't know who's going into that place and buying that stuff. Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but it was fun. I've never been into an estate sale and that was like a really fancy house. So it was kind of interesting to go in there and like see it. Cause now I've been in that fancy house, you know? Those rugs in real life take like four years to make. Oh my God, do they really? I know that they're expensive. I think I was just surprised because it was a runner. Like it wasn't that big of a rug. Um, but I don't know, I'm not an expert on expensive rugs. Shocker, I've never bought a rug like that before. I was just describing my Ikea rug. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I don't know, like, I'm not, I know they're expensive, but I don't know exactly how much, but it's kind of interesting to think about, I guess. Um, okay, would you like to maybe come get some food quick, Sim? Thank you. Natalie, happy birthday! And Delaney, and Midnight, and Merit, thank you for the subs. Um, you think real Turkish rugs are woven from silk? Is that how they make them? And they put it on the floor? That's, this is the other thing that I can't get over. You have this rug that you're charging $6,000 for, and it's just on the floor, you know? Like, it's just there. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if I could bring myself to like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. A lot of the fancy ones get hung up on the wall. Obviously, they like hang up these like tapestries and stuff, but that one was on the floor. And they had a little tag on it at the estate sale. They also had, I think, the other most expensive thing in that estate sale. Again, this is me who's never been to one before. So it was just very shocking to me that everything about it. They had like a big china cabinet hutch that was like $5,000. And I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money. And then they had like one of the doors was like closed. And it was like jewelry room, only three people allowed in at a time. And they had like someone standing outside of it. Like, like I didn't go in there, but they made a big deal about like, don't go in the jewelry room, only three at once. Like they were trying to be like really careful about the jewelry room. <laughs> um, and again, I didn't see it. So I don't know um, what it was like in there, but I'm sure if they had expensive like stuff like this, they probably had some really expensive jewelry in there. So that's interesting. You would have been straight in there. No, I was too scared to go in there. I would have been kind of curious to find out, but I was too scared to go in there. Um, yeah, Leah, this is the thing. I've never been to anything like this before. I, I had no idea what to expect. It was a really fancy house though. So I'm not surprised that it was like that. Um, most of them are probably not like that, but that one was. That one was wild. It was definitely a very interesting experience. I was like sending pictures to my parents like look at this place <laughs> They had a really wild chandelier upstairs, too They had um. they also had the upstairs was like blocked off They said don't go upstairs owners property and they had like signs on the doors that were closed like don't enter owners property They had a wine fridge with wine in it. And it was like don't enter owners property <laughs> They had like printed out signs and put them on stuff <laughs> It was kind of interesting um and they had things in the garage too. They had like Christmas decorations for sale in the garage. Um, that was like more normal. They had like garage sale energy in there, but then in the house there was some like really fancy stuff. And then there was so many people inside. I wasn't expecting it to be so busy. Oh, I killed Shrek. Oh no. I guess it makes sense, but there was like, like a lot of people inside the house. Way more than I thought. Like, like the line to buy my little ducks took a long time. <laughs> There was like 10 people ahead of us in line buying stuff. And not all of it was pricey like that furniture. A lot of it was like what I bought, like a little ceramic duck, you know, or like they had like dishes and stuff. Um, you know, what normal things. <laughs> I should probably come fill the food quickly because oops. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, you need to eat as well. 
Look, I'm not really faced by the rat death anymore because I've had too much of it happen to me, so. Doesn't really get to me these days. Um, with an estate sale, it's kind of like a garage sale energy where you're, like people are like selling a lot of their stuff, but they're like in this case trying to sell off like everything in the house pretty much. Um, oftentimes it's like when somebody dies, um, but not always. Sometimes rich people, I don't know what these people were doing. I don't know who they were. Um, but sometimes rich people, they might like have bought a new house and then maybe they want to buy all new furniture for the new house. So they have an estate sale and sell everything in the house. But because they were selling jewelry in there, I wonder if they died. I don't really know. Um, I'm not sure. But sometimes, um, or maybe you're like getting married and divorced or something. So you're splitting up stuff, moving like that. I don't know. Um, lots of reasons to do it, I guess. Um, but maybe you're just moving and not doing anything bad. Most people wouldn't have furniture like this to be sold. But it was like, I was in somebody's grandma's house looking at their expensive rugs. Or maybe you're downsizing that too, you know? So you have to get rid of some of your things. Um, all kinds of reasons for that sort of stuff. Um, it probably wouldn't be people like us. Or maybe like if you're moving abroad, that's true. Um, would you care to give a bath to pulp? Um, they advertise them in the paper, I think, these estate sales. I saw it because I drove past it and they had signs out um, that were like estate sale and me and Dan were like, wait, <laughs> should we go in there? <laughs> and then we did. Um, we like randomly decided to go in, um, but <laughs> um, they, I think they advertise it in like the newspaper. I think a lot of people like make a living by buying stuff from estate sales and like trying to flip it. I mostly wanted to go there just because I wanted to see inside of their house. I was just curious um, about what they had. But a lot of people that like thrift all the time, they go to estate sales on purpose um, to find that sort of stuff. So um, anyway, it's just kind of interesting. Did I get build and spell a little bit? It was kind of cool. It wasn't really my style though. It was like kind of like gaudy fancy, the house. So. Not the kind of thing I would ever want to live in. Sorry to judge their fancy house, but <laughs> it was like a little bit too much for me. <laughs> okay. And like, like fancy in a built in 2003 kind of way as well, which isn't that bad, but um, it was very McMansion-y and the kitchen was like really outdated, but like, expensive outdated you know like it's like they have a fridge that was probably really expensive 15 years ago you know like the tuscan kitchen vibe yeah yeah and the floor plan was really weird too it was very like closed off and um like but not in a way that made sense it was just a it was a very odd layout i thought it wasn't like it didn't i don't know it didn't seem very reasonable to me <laughs> Um, okay, would you care to use the bathroom, please? It's already 10 p.m. I need to have this sim go and use the stargazing stuff before I forget. It's way over here. We need a McMansion build. I love a McMansion type of build. That stuff is so fun. Stargaze. Because we'll get that for the aspiration finish. Okay. Kayla walking in saying, you guys need to open this place up. <laughs> I wonder if the person who bought it is going to, like, renovate it. I'd be so curious to know. I'd be so curious to know. Um, I'm fascinated by that kind of stuff. Okay, would you like to go to sleep, maybe? And you as well, because you finished eating and everything. Okay. A McMansion is when... So, it's like... It's not necessarily a mansion. I think when you say mansion, you think, like, fancy nice, high quality. A McMansion is when they build like a bunch of really expensive houses really quick and really cheap and like cut corners as they do now and make a house that is like ugly, but huge. It's like a mansion, but in the suburbs and it's like this close together to its neighbors and they usually are doing entirely too much with the roof. Um, you see that kind of thing a lot in like Texas. Oh, here's a good example 
um, of like, this is what I mean by, oh, this one's a, this looks like a duplex actually. Um, not a good example anymore. Imagine if this were a single family home and not two houses, like it looks like it is. It's like, ooh. And there's no clear style happening. It's just like a lot going on. Lots of random stuff, lots of, it's just like all the roofs and too many gables, like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to find a good example. There's a subreddit called r slash McMansions that kind of makes fun of this sort of stuff. Um, but I don't know. And then it's like really expensive as well. Oh, here's another one with like the style mixing. Wait, let me check this really quick. Okay. With the style mixing where... And then all the, it's just like, I don't know. And then it's really expensive, like really expensive. And a lot of times the house is like all garage as well. But anyway, <laughs> McMansion. <laughs> and then it's probably built like really cheaply too. So you're gonna have issues. Um, anyway, skipping Del Sol Valley, maybe a little bit. Looks like an old school house. No, that's the thing. They're not old houses. They're new houses that are like poorly built. <laughs> um, they might be trying to emulate old houses, but like doing a bad job of it um, is, is kind of the general understanding of a McMansion. It's like it wants to look like a fancy old house, but it doesn't. Because they do make nice houses that are new that look old and fancy, but these are like poorly done fancy houses basically is what McMansion means. Sometimes it's just fun to make fun of people's expensive houses, you know? <laughs> um, Elmer, and Philip, and Danielle, and Mac, and Heiji, thank you for the subs. Um, someone is sleeping outside, are they? Is it one of the ghosts? I think we should be okay. The houses they build these days are so cheaply, poorly made too, which is devastating. Um, they really will, um, the kid is sleeping outside? Oh, really? Hmm. Denim? Oh, you were outside. That's bad. What is wrong with you? Go upstairs. I'm really having a hard time with them in the the bunk beds. They don't want to stay in the bunk beds. They've been doing a lot. Yeah, cheaply made, but cost expensive. Like the, the builder cuts corners, you know? Um, I follow this person on Instagram who she just bought like in a new built neighborhood. It's like a person who makes like house stuff on Instagram. It's like one of those DIY house accounts, but she just bought a house in a new build neighborhood and she has had so many issues with it. It's a brand new house. It was built like last year. She bought it when they were still building it. Her kitchen island had a massive leak, like the sink pl wasn't plumbed correctly, so they had to rip out the entire island, fix the floor, and then rebuild the island in the kitchen. Um, they had a huge flood in their bathroom recently because same thing sink was not installed correctly in the bathroom. The like the sink was like not I don't really understand what happened, but they, they basically was broken. So they had to fix the bathroom because their bathroom flooded because the sink was installed poorly. This is a brand new house that they just built. They just built it. They bought it new. Oh, but it's because the, the builders like cut so many corners and like do a bad job basically on purpose because they're trying to save money and just like ruin everything. Um, but and then, and then it's expensive. Like they're cutting all these corners and making it so cheap, but it's not a cheap house. Like, it's just really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, so the plumber on the builder. Well, they had other issues too. They had issues with the walls and stuff that were the builder's fault as well. It wasn't just the plumber. It was, they had some plumbing problems recently, but they had other things too. I just didn't explain them all. Um, but they had all kinds of problems with the builder because they did such a bad job. Um, and they had, there was like some issue with like wall texture being all, I don't understand what she was talking about to be honest, I don't remember. But they had a bunch of problems and they bought this house like so, it was new. Um, and it's pretty uh, frustrating <laughs> um, to see all that happening, but whatever. Oh really, Panther, they were able to see the builders? That's good to know actually that they were able to do that. Um, but 
Yeah, and it's like the like a company that's buying like in these neighborhoods. What happens is like a company buys a huge plot of land and like sets it up and builds like thirty houses on it, and they're trying to do it as fast and as cheaply as possible to like like put up these houses real quick and then get rid of them and move on to the next plot of land. Um, so they're like poorly designed, poorly built, poorly, just it's like, <laughs> and then you have all these issues for like years to come or issues that maybe God forbid don't arise for years. Cause sometimes those houses will have warranties on them, I think. Um, but you know, like sometimes it might be a hidden secret issue that you don't realize is happening until it's been 10 years and now it's too late. Um, and people, you buy it, like when you're buying it, you're buying it based on the plan and based on the model home. Like when you buy into those neighborhoods, a lot of times they have built one house and in that house, they build it like the nicest, fanciest you can do. They put like all the upgrades, the best marble on the counters, the best floor, they've got the paved driveway, they've got like all of the upgrades, but they're selling you the base model and you have to pay extra for all the upgrades, you know? So, but you look at the, the model house and you're like, wow, <laughs> this is amazing. The hardwood, all of this, but it's like the fancy one. Um, and then it looks so cool and it's just not, yeah. Yikes. Surface is nice, but the inside, <laughs> I don't know. But so many people have stories of buying a new build that's like a mess. That's frustrating. Um, really frustrating. Okay. Would you like to take your shower and then go back to sleep a bit? Thank you. It's only 530. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry to be talking about this. Also, Danielle, thank you for the 26 months. Uh, Philip, thank you for the resub too. Um, oh yeah. I mean, the thing is, even if you get a home inspection, sometimes the inspector misses things. Like even if you get one, they might not realize it might not be an issue that hasn't arisen until it's like being lived in, you know? Um, so it's sometimes hard to know until you're actually there because people do miss stuff. Um, I love hearing about like, I, I, maybe love is, is the wrong word. This reminds me of when I bought my house, um, we had a final walkthrough on closing day. So but before I went to, to sign the papers, they had me come here and like look at the house and then go sign the papers. Um, so that way I, you know, you know, final chance, did anything change or whatever. And my realtor was like, listen to me, don't you ever buy a house without a final walkthrough? Because get this, uh, like last year or the year before we bought our house, I guess the real estate agent went to do the final walkthrough the day of closing and the house had not at our house. It was somebody else's house, but the house had been vacant for a couple months because the owners like moved out and then put the house on the market. They had one of those pebble ice makers in their house. It broke. Nobody was home for like a month. It was flooding the kitchen for like 30 days straight. So they go there on closing day to do the walkthrough, mold, flood it like inches of water in the, in the hole downstairs because the place had been flooded running water for a month. So of course they didn't buy the house, like they backed out of it, but oh my God, can you imagine? And then he said that those pebble ice makers do that a lot. Like he's heard of issues with those ice makers multiple times. So maybe don't buy one of those. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like plugged in, installed, and then it broke and no one knew and it was just running. <laughs> um, and how bad is that? Yeah, but it was fine. Like when they went to see the house first, but then because nobody was there, it was vacant. No one knew that it was happening. Um, but yeah, that was pretty bad. That's really bad. Could you imagine the devastation of that day for everybody involved? Ugh. So you have a water alarm. Yeah, people have stuff like that too. Or you like have someone go in there and check, have the neighbor like walk in and just check on the house. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> when I say pebble ice maker, it's like, let me show you. Pebble, I've never seen one of these in real life. I just Googled pebble ice cream, not that. Pebble ice maker. Um, it's like an ice maker. This is like a fancy house thing, right? Um, they had it like in the cabinet. And oh my God, why are they so expensive? That one was $3,000, that can't be right. Um, but I think it's kind of like, 
Well, I guess it's kind of like this, but I'm picturing that it was a built-in appliance. It was like built into the cabinetry and it makes, it's an ice maker, but it makes like fancy ice, like little ice cubes and not like um, the ice that you just get from like a regular ice maker in a freezer or something. I don't really know. I've never had one of these, um, but that is the kind of thing. Pebble ice maker built in. Let me Google that. Oh, oh, look at this house. Okay, maybe, I don't know what it looked like because again, I wasn't there, it wasn't my house, but like, you see how they have like the ice maker freezer built in? I think it was something like this. So they probably had like a beverage cooler or something next to it and then they had like the fancy ice maker and that is what broke and flooded the house. And that was probably expensive too. I don't know what this thing is. I've never seen one of these in real life. <laughs> but like, imagine if that was like running water flooded. You had one and it flooded your basement? Really? Apparently it happens a lot with them. Anyway, so if you ever get an ice maker like this and you move out of your house, maybe turn the water off or something. <laughs> Just to be safe. Clearly, because um, we don't want to flood your entire house with it. Like, what happened to that person? Um, yeah, turn off the water hose to it or something. I don't really know exactly what happened again, because I'm just hearing a story from the real estate agent, but um, that's so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay, Moss, are you off work today too? Yes. All right, we're going to program then. Um, and then would you care to program, keep making your video game? You need to get level seven of the gardening skill. You know what I might do? Oh, I never harvested these. I'm very, oh. Alphabet is too afraid of plants. Oh my God. No, no, I'm not dealing with that. Okay, well, I'm gonna come grab my crystals and then we'll start again. <sighs> yeah, Phantom, it looks like when I was Googling those ice makers, it looks like there's a lot of like countertop versions of those pebble ice makers. And with that, you probably have to fill it with water. But these ones that are built in, um, I think these you have to, um, like they're probably hooked up. How do you know how much they cost? Cause I'm looking at this, it says Scotsman. They don't even have, you know how you know it's bad? On this website, there isn't a price. Oh, <laughs> who is she? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the, the, the fact there isn't a price on this page, that's how you know it's bad. That's not a good sign. I pressed this where to buy and there wasn't any prices either. <laughs> FAQs? Well, your products have to custom panel. Yeah, 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 they all require custom panels. How much does Scotsman Ice Maker cost? <gasps> guess, guess, guess. I want I want to know what you guess. That's disgusting. Five thousand dollars. What? <laughs> That's more than a full-size fridge! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like triple the price of a full-size fridge! It's an ice maker! Oh my god. <laughs> what? I knew it was expensive, I did not realize it was that expensive. I thought it would be like $2,000. Which is a lot of money still, but like, you know, comparatively. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Wow, that just maybe ruined my day. I'm not sure. I'm not really a big fan of that news. 
Okay, I'm gonna have my sim plant a bunch of these just so I can get my skill up. It must be good ice if it costs that much. <laughs> Mr. Kira, thank you for the resubs. Whoa. <laughs> Are there tiers of ice? I don't know. I think regular ice is just fine for me personally, but... I don't know. Ice trays exist for a reason. Well, a lot of- a lot of fridges and freezers come with ice makers in them. They want- they're not pebble ice makers, it's just like regular ice makers, you know? Like the ice cube tray type of ice. But a lot of fridges and freezers have ice makers in them. So... Wow. <laughs> Fascinating. Regular ice is good enough for me. Pebble ice is like fancy ice. It's like, um... Let me look up pebble ice. Three reasons nugget ice makers are so expensive. One, they're not your average ice machine. Oh, here we go. This is the info that we need. It's asking me if I'm ready to take the plunge. No. <laughs> no. Okay, pearl ice, nugget ice, pebble ice. Okay. Um... For some machines, it gets pretty mu pretty complex. Okay. Pearl ice machines freeze their ice a bit differently. It's formed by thin flakes of ice compressed into a dense, compact mass. It gets rid of the air and empty space, so there's no more loud, clinking ice. Oh! You know, I think to myself all the time, God, I wish ice wasn't so loud. And then it gets pushed through round holes punched in a metal sheet where it gets smooth and cylindrical shape comes from. And thanks to its density and shape, pearl ice melts slower. It will change the way you enjoy beverages. Size matters. Pearl ice makers are built to last. You know whose wasn't? That person whose uh, house got flooded by it. <laughs> With proper maintenance and cleaning, a pearl ice machine can last for up to a decade or more. A decade is not long enough! No, 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 no. Dan hates ice. We would never buy an ice maker like that. Dan hates ice. He can't drink cold drinks. Dan has some real temperature sensitivity problems with cold things and hot things. But, like, to an extreme degree, because sometimes I can, like, touch something, like a cookie, out of the oven, and he's like, Whoa, I can't touch that, it's too hot! And it's fine. Like, I can touch it fine. It's been cooling. But he can't touch it, because he's, like, too weak or something. <laughs> anyway, he doesn't like ice, so... I, I understand the cold thing though. I get the I get the cold being a problem. The 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 cooking thing I don't really understand. And like he can't like sometimes when we cook dinner, I can eat the dinner like like five plus minutes before him. Like it's too hot for him to eat way longer than it's too hot for me to eat. And I'm not eating like something burning hot. But he is much more sensitive to temperature than me. <laughs> I've got all kinds of sensory issues. I can handle temperatures. So I'm not judging him. I'm just saying. He's delicate. <laughs> oh, people like pebble ice because it's easy to chew. That makes sense. I never thought about it before because I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was just a shape. But now that I know that they like compress the thin sheets into pebble ice, that makes sense that it's easy to chew, because it isn't like solid ice. Oh my god, I'm making myself like cringe. Like my mouth is like shivering when I think about biting into an ice cube. <laughs> like a regular ice cube, but I can see why a pebble ice cube would be better to bite. I can't chew ice. I actually, it's making me feel a bit ill thinking about it right now. Like when I think about biting it, it's like I'm like my body's getting chills thinking about biting into an ice cube. <laughs> But I, I understand now why people would prefer to chew the pebble ice. Because it probably like splits up because it's sheets pressed together. And not like a solid thing. Oh, stop talking about it. Oh my god, I feel this is disgusting. 
I can't think about chewing ice. <laughs> okay. Smurf, are you ready to eat, buddy? Let's go do it. Um, open this. You can have some cake for breakfast. How about that? Megan, Allie, J9, and Lucy, thank you for the subs. Um, chewing ice probably is bad for your teeth, yeah. I would say so. I don't do it, so it's not my fault. My sister is an ice chewer and it disgusts me. <laughs> I don't think my siblings chew ice, thank God. I'd have to get rid of them if, I, if so. Because I can't do it. Oh, it probably is bad for braces too, yeah. I like, I'll drink drinks with ice in it, but I, I'm like a use a straw. I have like metal straws and I drink my drinks with my ice in them like that. I don't like to drink when you have to drink it out of a cup and the ice to touch your mouth. I don't want the ice to get into my mouth. I'll use a straw. That's my preference. <laughs> okay. Does Sonic also have pebble ice? Yeah, this is interesting because it sounds like a lot of, um, it sounds like a lot of restaurants have that kind of ice. But if the ice maker is so expensive, do you think that this kind of ice is faster to make? Because if, if they, if it's made by freezing really thin sheets of water and then squashing it together, it probably is quick because the, it's it's fast to freeze something thin like that and they'll have like an industrial machine that they can use it. So it must be faster. So that makes sense why they have it in public places like that. That's really interesting. It's at Sonic and Dairy Queen. Oh, you buy bags of ice from Sonic, really? That's so interesting. I didn't really think you could do that. I guess that makes sense that you can. Um. Okay, well, you finished eating. Do you want to come use this so we can get your skill up? It's also at Chick-fil-A. Oh, yeah. I don't really go to fast food places at all. Um, obviously, I don't eat meat, so... I don't really frequent these places. <laughs> That's actually fun, though. I didn't really think about that, but you're right. If you can buy ice from, like, Sonic and the Pebble Ice is better, that might be fun, like you say, for a special occasion. If you're gonna have a party, you could get a bag of, like, the fancy ice from Sonic, and then people can use it in their drinks. It used to be at Costco, but they changed it. Oh, boo. That's a shame. But yeah, I didn't really think about that. That makes sense that you could get the fancy ice from a, from a restaurant for, like, a special occasion. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I didn't know you could. See, we're learning things. This is an educational stream. <laughs> we're learning stuff together. Um... Okay, well, we'll keep doing this until we get our skills up. Um, how, what level is that? Level four? Oh, you could stop then. Unless you want, actually, let's try and max it. Never mind. We'll have you work on that, and I'll keep working on this talking to the mirror. I'll triple speed, too. While we try and skill build. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm glad you went on a nice walk today. That's good. I'm glad. You needed that. Walks are good. <laughs> Megan, Allie, thank you for the resubs. Um, oh. I'll give a thousand simoleons to charity. That's fine. We can afford it. Now you want a Mountain Dew with some pebble ice. It just hits different. It really does. You know, I'm kind of, um, I've not really been in a soda era for a while, but I had a Sprite recently and I realized, I haven't had Sprite in years and I realized, you know what? Sprite's kind of good. So. Oh yeah, this Wilbert slide is a pre-order. Yeah, you have to get it. It came with um the Growing Together pre-order purchase. I'm sorry, see, we can stop talking about it. I know, it sucks. Like, what you did today sucks. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, okay, come on. Stop talking to yourself. You're stressing me out. Okay. We're almost level five. Practice speech again. Best thing about American hotels is the ice machine in the halls. Yeah, that is fun at hotels, isn't it? That is fun. Go to the ice maker, get some ice for the room. <laughs> okay, after you finish eating, we'll have you come um, work on this. What do you need to do for your aspiration? Level six creativity, sleep in a treehouse. Okay. 
you have ice makers. Yeah, sometimes at hotels, on like every floor, there'll be an ice maker and a vending machine. And like the room will have a little ice bucket. And it's like normal hotels as well, not like fancy ones. Um, like the kind of hotels that we'd stay at for like my brother's baseball tournaments, like like motel type stuff. Um, they have an ice maker on in the hotel and you could go to it and get ice for the room. And we thought it was so cool when we were kids. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably a very American thing. I don't know. Um, but why do you ice in your room? Isn't there a fridge? Well, they have like beverage coolers sometimes. I don't know. I guess if you're like having drinks in the room, you might want ice. Um, Cause ice and like drink fr from the fridge, you might not have had time to keep it cool in the fridge. And I like to have ice like in my water bottle and stuff. So I don't know. Um, you never heard of that? Yeah, it's pretty common. You have it in Australia too? Well, there you go. And in Canada, there you go. Oh, here's interesting news. Um, I was talking to my insurance today, speaking of Canada. Um, so Dan, our, our insurance rates, they're treating Dan like he's an inexperienced driver. Duh, because he is an inexperienced driver. But she was saying to me, she was like apologizing on the phone, like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just that if he doesn't have driving experience in the US or Canada, it doesn't matter if he has like a license in the UK, they don't care in America. It's US or Canada. If he had like a Canadian license, then he would get like, you know, better insurance rates. He had no license, so it doesn't matter. But uh, even if he had a UK license, they wouldn't care for insurance. But she was going on and on and I was like, it's okay, I know, it's gonna be, I know. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's different, but it it's interesting that it's like that. Um, I didn't really think that it would matter in, at all, but um, yeah, the phrase treating Dan like an inexperienced driver is funny, but that's what she kept saying on the phone. It's like, they're gonna treat him like an inexperienced driver. And I didn't correct her and tell her that he didn't have like, cause she was like, oh, he's British. So sorry, like they don't care about his UK license. And I didn't say anything. I just was like, yeah, cause he didn't have a UK license, but she doesn't need to know that. So, <laughs> I didn't bring that part up. <laughs> He's getting his license for the first time in America, but I didn't mention that he never had a UK one. I don't think she needed that. You know? Oh, what the heck? Did that disappear? It must have. That's weird. Oh. It doesn't even want to place right. It's like slotting weird. Whatever. I'll alt place it. Um. Imagine she's in the chat. I don't think she would know. I'm not sure she knows about me being a Twitch streamer. That's just some random lady on the on the phone at the insurance company. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Foxy. You don't need to offer extra info to the insurance company. Only answer what you are asked directly. Exactly. <laughs> they, they don't need to like just tell them stuff. <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> Okay, you're using the bathroom. You can shower after that. Don't, oh, don't practice speech. <gasps> Celebrate Moss's birthday. Oh, good God, that's horrible. I can make you a cake, Moss. We can do that. Let's go make one. Um, Uh-oh, they're gonna be an adult now, yeah. Moss is getting old. Hamburger cake for you, Moss. Yes? <laughs> oh, Taylor, hey, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming by the stream today. Um, and Elmay, thank you for the sub gift as well. Thank you so much. Uh, Vs and Danny, thank you for the resubs. The cooking menu is so laggy. It's it's rough. Um, all right, you officially need another bath. See if your mom can help you. The kid always needs a bath. What? Can you not ask for one? Give Smurf a bubble bath. Okay, and you, skill-wise, you're doing mostly fine. I might see about you, I guess you're building the creativity skill. Oh, that was pretty easy, actually. We need level six, so we can keep working on this. Um, yeah, the cooking menu always takes a long time to pop up. I don't really understand it, to be honest, um, but it's been like that for a while. They really need to like tune it or something. And they have not. 
Um, okay, I need to give a bath to the little dog too, probably. Wait, did you not get your bath? No, I'm gonna say that I did. I've decided, because that's annoying and I don't wanna deal with it. Where are you? Standing in the front of the house, okay. Um, maybe you could come play in the cabinets and moss, you can add your birthday candles. I cannot believe we're gonna be an adult. That is upsetting, isn't it? Okay, blow out the candles. I'll take a screenshot of this one. I love you, Moss. Catch you later. What? Age up! You froze. Okay, we're old now. That is rough. Okay, how long until you age up? Three days. Oh my god. That is so annoying. <laughs> Sushi, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, Moss has acne, yeah. That's what's, we got acne and freckles, but you've got both. Okay. Um, you keep doing that until you get a little bit of the thinking skill, yes? Makes it easier. Stop farting like that, it's kind of gross. Oh my. Moss is so me, adult acne moment. Yeah, I think um, it's it's technically in The Sims, people like complain about it because it's a glitch where it doesn't go away from their teenage years when it's like intended to in game. Um, but I don't really, like a lot of people have acne. So did you just hit yourself in the head? So I don't really mind, um, but it's technically a bug in game for it to last into adulthood, but a lot of people have acne, <laughs> so it's not like that weird. <laughs> um, okay. Well, we're level five only in mixology. That isn't that high. Um, well, we'll try and get that up. I might have you woohoo with your spouse after this too, so we can try and get your, how are you doing? Not level six yet, so we can get their social up. <laughs> Um, I'm 23 and have acne. I'm also named Moss and use they them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tiny frogberry. That does hit a little too close to home, doesn't it? Um, I know a lot of people in chat really like the name Moss, and I know quite a few people in chat know someone in real life named Moss. How many, uh, show of hands, how many people know someone named Moss for real? I only know the same Moss personally, but <laughs> um, I know quite a few people. Quite a few people have said they know someone named Moss. Um, hey, hey. So, okay. Well, maybe you could go who now? To be honest, this seems like a good time. See if we pillow fight with Moss. Oh my! Imagine if they get pregnant from Risky Woohoo on this. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. Oh. Speaking of worst case scenario, I did something so embarrassing earlier. I have a group chat on Discord with me and Dan and Miv and her boyfriend, because we've hung out in person a couple times because we live in Florida now. Well, earlier, they've been sending a lot of cat information in this group chat, like asking for advice on like, oh, what cat tree do you have? You know, all, all this stuff, because they just got a cat. Earlier today, um, Miv was like, oh yeah, he's at work right now, like he's working, like so he's not replying because he's working. Immediately after Miv says that, I called the group chat by accident. Honest, I have not a single clue how I did this. I was holding my phone with it open and I was like walking away, like into the kitchen or something. And I looked down and my phone was ringing. And I was like, no, there's no way. But I called them all right after Miv just said he's at work. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Like, I pressed it by accident. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> oh, I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. I've done it a few times. But normally, it's like to... It's like less of a big deal if I like call Dan by accident on Discord. Or like, you know, but when it's like Miv's boyfriend... <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to bother him. I don't know him like that. Like, it's just 
makes me feel so bad. And like she had just said he was working and then I called, oh my God, I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. Ugh. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine, but I was really embarrassed. You accidentally video called your hairdresser twice on Instagram? I, oh no. That's a rough one too. That is bad. Okay, would you like to go to sleep now? Yeah, Discord is rough for that. It's easy to press the button by accident on, on mobile. Um, which is bad. Your mother-in-law once went live on Facebook from inside of her purse. Oh, I think you told me about that, Christine. That's so funny. My dad, like, butt dials me a lot. And that's no good. I don't, it's like, if he does it to me, he probably does it to other people too. You know? But, like, I have to answer and I'm like, Dad. 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 And then I hear, like, rustling. I'm like, Dad. <laughs> Dad, you're on the phone, Dad. <laughs> I know it's in his pocket, he doesn't know. And then sometimes I'll hang up and then he'll call me back and be like, you called? No, you called. <laughs> that was you, not me. Does it all the time though, all the time. Okay, um, would you like to get some food? It's, oh, it's 1 a.m., Never mind. go back to bed. They keep waking up in the night, I think it's because of the dog. <sighs> Go, climb the ladder. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Tracy, thank you for the 35 months. Karina with the 49 months. Jackson, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you so much. Uh, your mom doesn't bring the phone, her phone anywhere and it's so stressful. Oh no, that is bad. Yeah, my grandma, we've had to like really try to um, get her to bring, and she has been. Like she has a, like a little, she's, she's a, a landline girly, um, but she's got like a little flip phone that we've like, she's been got to bring around with her. Cause she like goes outside to like water the plants or she like puts bird food out and stuff in her yard. Um, and if she's going out there, we want her to bring the phone. So like in case something happens, if she like, you know, falls, God forbid or something, um, she can like call somebody about it. Um, but yeah, we've been trying to like get her on to bring in the phone everywhere. Um, Cause she's like one time she went to the store and she got locked out of her car and then she didn't have it. And so it was like, she had to go inside and get them to call my uncle and like, <laughs> uh, but she's in her nineties. So, um, you know, we're trying to get her to want to use it. <laughs> my other grandma has an iPhone. She, she plays words with friends on it. So people, you know, very different, but. Oh, you got her an Apple watch with cellular. That's actually a good idea. I don't know if my grandma would, would, do an Apple Watch. We got her an iPad mini so that she could use it at home to like, cause then she can tune into my streams and stuff. Like sometimes she watches my streams. She might end up watching this one back. Hi grandma. <laughs> she might watch the VOD of this one. I'm not sure um, if she does, but uh, yeah, sometimes she watches my videos. We put, I like deleted all the apps that she does not absolutely need on this iPad mini for her. And I put like shortcuts to just my channels on like the, homepage and this way she has iMessage so we can send her pictures um and we've tried to like on like on Christmas we FaceTimed her and opened her presents in front of her um so that way we, she could see it you know um so we've been kind of using it like that um which is good it's been nice um but she's she's not very tech savvy so um I don't blame her a lot of people are not very tech savvy tech savvy so She's got her little house phone for the most part. <laughs> Your grandma will stop calling her after you got her a phone? Oh, that's so cute. My other grandma is a is big into email. She always has been. But I'll get emails um, from my grandma where they're all caps, no punctuation, like quick sentences, updates of what's going on. <laughs> and she sends me these emails like that. It's so cute. But she loves email. She loves email. My my other grandma, the one that um, is a landline girly, she knows how to avoid scammers. She's pretty good about that. She's um she's real quick with it. She will answer the phone to scammers, and sometimes she messes with them, and she'll tell us about it when she does it. Cause sometimes she gets these calls from people that'll be like, oh, and I'm copying her right now. It'll be like, oh, it's your grandson. 
you know, I've been arrested, I need money, help me, Grandma. And then uh, she'll be like, oh, grandson, we don't have any money, Jimmy. Like, make up a name. Um, she only has one grandson. His name's not Jimmy. <laughs> and Brett would absolutely not call her for money. Like, she's, you know? Um, so she knows it's not true, obviously. Um, and, and so she, like, kind of, like, plays along with it, which I think, you know... Maybe she shouldn't answer them all, but she does. <laughs> so, it's honestly incredibly distressing to me how common those calls are. It is so evil to scam these poor little old people. But thankfully, she's like pretty up to date on what the scammers do. Um, and, and like, I think her and her friends all talk about it and like they know what to look out for. But it's really common and it's scary. Um, I hate how scary that is, because it, it really, people do fall for it, because it happens so much, you know? Um, but, yeah, anyway, hopefully you're able to talk to, like, the the older people in your in your life about stuff like that, and help them know what to look out for. Um, anyway, bad. Very bad that that happens. Evil. Okay, you observe this, maybe clean the habitat before I forget, real quick, and we'll go to sleep. Your sister is 27 and got scammed. Well, it can happen to anybody. I mean, they're they're good at it. Like, the people that are doing the scams are really good at doing the scams. I mean, so many people fall for scams on Discord, which isn't the same thing as these phone call scams, but so many people fall for scams on Discord. I know, because their accounts get hacked and they come and I have to ban them from my Discord server because they're, like, spamming horrible links. Um, but, you know... Uh, they're, they're good at it, and it's easy to fall for, so. And you get so many, like, so many texts and calls that are scams, but there's a lot of scams on Discord, yeah. And they, what they're trying to do is hack your account. I can, maybe I can show you, um, the kind of thing that you're looking out for. Um, because there would have been, there was one yesterday. Um, please do not judge this person. Uh, there's gonna be a username in the screenshot, because I haven't had time to block it out, but it's not their fault. Um, their account got hacked. It's not them. Um, but it'll be stuff like this. This is a new one. I haven't seen this yet. Um, but they, what the Discord scammers will do is they'll hack your account. Um, and then they'll make you type a message like this with like some creepy link. In this case, it's like crypto. Sometimes it's, um, Discord servers. It depends. But they'll put this in every single Discord server you're in, in every single channel, in every single server. Um, and it happens a lot, like more than once a day, this happens to somebody on our Discord server. <laughs> and we're pretty good about like having things blocked. Uh, in this case, Automod got it. Sometimes Automod does not get it. Um, we have a lot of things blocked to help stop it. Um, there's a lot of Discord Nitro scammers where it's like, click here to claim Nitro for free and it's not true. Um, you're not getting Nitro for free. A good rule of thumb is that nobody is giving you anything for free. <laughs> um, not on Discord, not online. There's not, there's not free stuff happening. Um, but if you, if you're getting weird links, and plus sometimes, um, because they hack accounts like that, the Discord scammers, if, say if I fell for it and I clicked the link, then they hack my account because I clicked the link, they're gonna use my account to DM every person I am friends with on Discord, and they're gonna send them a message. And sometimes they're kind of weird and like maybe a little bit realistic sounding, where it's like, hey, I need help, or like, hey, I there's this one where it's like, hey, is this true? I, I saw some people talking about you in this Discord server, and it's like a link to a server. Um, and, and they're like wording it in a way where it's like making you want to clink, like click it, like, Hey, I saw this thing about you in the discord server. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's a, it's a scam. They're sending it to every single person on that person's friends list. Um, and so if you, if you click it, then, then you get hacked. <laughs> and so it just continues on and they keep spreading it around. Um, so it's pretty bad. They get good. So sometimes you'll get a message from your friend that like sounds a little bit not like them, but it's from your friend. So you think maybe it's real. So if your friend is not sounding like themselves, be really careful. I got another one on Discord once from a friend that, and it was really unfortunate because it was the person who did my YouTube banner um, who had been hacked. And so like they're an artist and I knew them. I knew they were like in school a while back. Well, I get this message that was like, hey, um, I'm working on this game. Can you download it and like test it out for me? And I was like, this doesn't sound like you. 
but maybe it's you? Like, may so I was replying like, oh, tell me more about it, trying to like gauge if it was a scam. <laughs> and it was, um, but it was like, it seemed very, like I knew it wasn't right, but I was like not sure. And I didn't want to offend them by like accusing them of scamming me or anything. So <laughs> I didn't want to like ignore their message. Um, so I was like replying, trying to gauge if it was real or not. But uh, yeah, they were hacked and it was a scam, but sometimes they seem like pretty realistic. So you have to be really careful um, about that because you know, in that case, <laughs> I mean, like, a person asking me to look at their game for their school project isn't that out of the realm of the possibility, you know? And that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, it happens with, like, job offers and stuff. Yeah, a good tip is if, if you get a weird message from a friend like that, you could try and ask them, like, on a different app. Like, if you got a weird Discord DM, maybe ask them, like, on Instagram, hey, was this you? Because I got a weird message, you know? Um, but you just got to be really vigilant about that because there's so many scary 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 things out there across all platforms not just discord but like everywhere um so yeah we've been trying to tell people and i really mean this when i say it if you get especially on discord if you get like a really weird scam pop up on discord you are welcome to ask my mods if we think it is a scam because we see a lot of this stuff we're totally down to help you <laughs> even if it's not about our server um we, we're open to helping you, and also it's helpful to us to know what Discord scams are going around, just because then we can kind of be ready for, like, what to look out for, you know? But if you get a weird Discord scam message, you're welcome to ask us on Discord if we think it's, like, legit or not. It's almost always not legit. Um, but <laughs> uh, we're, we're here to help with that, because I don't want anybody, any of you to get scammed. Um, so, you can make a ticket in the Discord server and let us know. Um, we are happy to help. Okay, so the baby is probably gonna need aged up. Still not yet. Oh my god. I'm the baby is stressing me out. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, kids. I'm gonna have them go to school and probably work hard at school. I think. Um Sir Longcat and Devil, thank you for the resubs. Uh Karuti and Coda. We got Madison, Star, Jordan, Ava, Eliza, thank you for the subs. Coda, thank you for the gifted subs. I talked too much about scams. I didn't thank you fast enough, but um, thank you so much. Okay. Um, would you care to come harvest all of these and maybe evolve it as well? Can you not evolve it? Maybe it just sparkles for fun. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Harvest all of these and maybe water all of them too. Oh, you have work at 9 a.m. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll do that later then. Okay, well, I guess you go to work. I still haven't got level seven gardening skill, but maybe we can try and get it up a little bit higher. I should have stayed home to like spray the area for bugs. We should be able to get our level up today um, after work, so that'll be fine. You need to talk to yourself more. See if we can get this skill up to level six. <laughs> we'll triple speed while we, while we go through this. Um, if you need a pack to have a greenhouse or can you just make one? That's a great question. Um, you do not have to have a pack to make the greenhouse um, and for it to function. You need to have the greenhouse pack to use these greenhouse items, um, but you don't need to have a greenhouse pack for a greenhouse to work right. Greenhouses, it's as long as you have like plants underneath a ceiling, they'll grow inside. So you could make a greenhouse with like base game windows and it would still work the same way. You could have no windows and it would work the same way. You could have a random ceiling with no walls and it would still work the same way. As long as the plants are underneath a the ceiling, they grow um, like they're inside. Um, but if you wanted it to look like this, you need to have the greenhouse windows pack, but you could just use base game ones or you could have no windows. As long as it's undercover, it works. Even if it's cold outside, like even if it's winter time, as long as there is a roof, the game counts it as being undercover. Um, yeah, you could have a windowless shed and it would work as a greenhouse, yeah. Same as if you put them in like in the basement, it would work the same way. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but that's how it works. Um, so, I don't know what pack the shower comes in. Oh, this is from the rent pack. It's pretty cute, right? You wouldn't expect it, but it's pretty good. Um, that makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, the, the game doesn't have the capability to understand, like, the need for windows. Um, it's kind of like how vampires aren't gonna die because there's sunlight shining through a window or, like, through a glass roof. The game just 
sees the glass roof as a roof. You know, um, nothing fancy, it's just a roof. Um, so like, if it wouldn't affect it in that way. I think that's fine. I think it would be a little bit um, overkill if it did. Um, it'd be cool, but you can pretend well enough and it's fine. Oh, Moss is missing work. Oh, I forgot we had work today. Sorry, I thought we didn't have work today. That's my bad. We're gonna lose. Go do it now. Um, but, yeah, it's more like they designed the features of these items, like, around the existing issues that we have in the game and how the game works. Um, but I, I think it makes sense. I, I understand why it's like that, so. Um... It would be cool, but it's not really necessary for them to go back and fix. If they're going to go back and, like, do a big change, my my pick for the big change would not be to have them go make glass roofs work and regular ones not, you know? Like, <laughs> um, I don't think that's worth it, but... Our AC did get fixed, Madison. Yes, thank God we have a new AC unit. Well, didn't get fixed. We got a new one. Um... They had told us when we bought the house, the inspector was like, ooh, good luck with that. And then it kind of broke over the summer and we had them come and fix it. And he was like, ooh, this has been like patchworked a lot of times. It's not looking good. It's really old. And we were like, yeah, we know. Um, and then it became colder outside. Like the winter wasn't as bad, so it wasn't as big of a deal. But now that the summer is coming again, we had like the first hot weekend last weekend and it was hot in the house because the AC could not keep up. Um, and we were like, uh-oh, <laughs> um, that's not good. So we had them come out to look at it, to like service it. And then we had them give us a quote for a new one. And we were like, you know what? You, there's like a, a certain point, I talked to my dad about it. And he was like, at a certain point, like you're gonna have to pay so much money to fix it that like to keep patchworking this thing that's just gonna break again. is like, you probably should just like bite the bullet and get the new one. Plus the new one is like more efficient. So it's gonna work better. The, the energy bill will be less. It's just like, expensive in the beginning but yeah and like it was good that we did it now instead of like in the summertime in the peak summertime you know um because that would have been really unpleasant <laughs> if, the, if it had broken in like august um so anyway i was just i keep complaining about it because it was so expensive <laughs> um but it's okay it'll be fine um it'll be fine it'll be fine um yeah and that's the thing it was like 20 years old that's like a long time for an air conditioning unit, especially like it's in Florida, it's working hard in Florida all the time. So, um, yeah, Florida weather is rough on the air conditioning unit, which makes sense. Um, your AC died the day you left for vacation a few summers ago. Oh my, that's horrible. It had a full-time job that never ends. Yeah, seriously, it was, it was going through it, that AC unit. And it was old. So. You've had yours for 39 years? Yeah, I was talking because I was, the, the person who cuts my hair, I was talking to her about it. Her name is Linda. Um, and she was saying that they just had to replace theirs. And they had, that house is, it was like built, it was put in when the house was built in the 80s. And the house was, they had the AC unit there the whole time. Um, and it was like really on its last leg. <laughs> um, which is, I mean, that's a good life for it. But now they have a new one too. They had to get a new one recently as well. Um, but that's a good PSA. Yeah, Hitch, if you make like an energy efficiency upgrade to your house, like getting a smart thermostat or like getting like, you know, a new high efficiency furnace or whatever, you know, any of these upgrades, you can talk to your energy company because sometimes they have like rebates for it and stuff. Um, you have to look into it, but sometimes they're, like, nice to you if you get stuff like that. Um, oh, that's cool, Brew. I really like that. They made it so it's, like, a window seat, like, a wood frame around it. Um, your state will pay for you to get solar panels in some cases. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice that they have that. My parents have solar panels on their roof, um, which is pretty cool. Their solar panel gets used for the water heater. So, like, their showers and stuff, um solar panels heat the water for the house um it's kind of expensive but i think that when they got it they got like a tax credit or something this was a long time ago i don't think that it was expensive i think they only did it because it wasn't expensive because we certainly didn't have the money for it at the time when they got it but i have to ask how it worked when they did it um but yeah like in florida solar panel to heat the water that's fine we don't have to heat anything else you know so um that was pretty good yeah, I think that solar water heaters are pretty common in a lot of places. Um, but 
It's nice to have. You have a workaholic lifestyle? Oh my god. Um, okay, would you like to go get leftovers? Yeah? Um, no, the child's not freezing. It's actually hot outside. They're just blue. <laughs> They're just blue. Chloe, thanks for the 54 months, and fried rice, and Christy, and Uma, and Locke, thank you for the resubs as well. Um, they're blue because their mom is green, and they're the blue gen of Not So Berry. Also, the kitchen set that we're using, um, this kitchen set is from the Country Kitchen Kit. Okay, would you like to feed the little thingy, and then we can bathe the toddler, perhaps? Um, give Smurf a bath, yes? Yeah, there are some like solar panel companies that are trying to take advantage of people. That's true. So just look into it. I don't really know. I don't have, I've never bought it myself. I don't know how it works really. I just know what my parents did like 10 years ago, but um, I think there are some companies that are like not good trying to take advantage of you, but it depends. They're blue because their mom is green. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your local gas company gives a $750 rebate for getting a solar water heater. That's so cool. I don't have there. I don't have gas in my house at all. Um, we don't have a gas company. We have just the electric. Um, so I've thought about maybe solar panels someday. I don't really know how it works though. I don't need to pay for that right now. <laughs> um, but maybe someday we could try and get them. Um, okay, baby is bathed. You child, maybe should get some food. And then. I may get off stream here in a little bit, not quite yet. Um, your heater dryer is gas heated, you think? Yeah, a lot of places are. Um, yeah, ours are all just electric, so. That's good luck, you got a rebate in Arizona, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works when you need a roof replacement. You know what, Christine? My parents had to get, they didn't get their whole roof replaced, but they had to get some of, I don't, maybe I don't remember what happened. My parents, I think, had to get their roof redone after they had solar panels. So maybe I'll ask them um, how that happened. Do they have to remove the solar panels? That's a good question. I don't know how that happens. Um, I don't know how it works. Because um, I'm curious about that too. I didn't really even think about that. Yeah, I don't know. But there was like hurricane problems, so they had to get their roof replaced. I don't remember. It was a while ago. Um, that sucks. <laughs> the people who had my house before I did, um, the previous owners replaced the roof like three years ago. Yes. <laughs> um, so it was, a, it was a brand new roof when I bought the house. Thank you to them for doing that. <laughs> they just replaced it. <laughs> um, so we got a new roof on this house. Um, thank you very much. Okay, I think you need to go to bed. It's only 7.30, but you go to sleep, my little friend. Um, you two keep working on these. And Moss, my friend, I'm gonna make you talk to this mirror so I can get your charisma skill up. You're approaching roof replacement time. Ugh, I'm sorry, so sorry, Christine. That really sucks. Um, you had to replace the sewer line when you bought your house? Oh my god. Oh, I was telling my mods this. I don't think I told you all this. I don't know what was happening, but uh, last week when the AC company was here to replace my air conditioner, I looked out the window outside and the city had closed our road and there was a bunch of trucks out there. And upon first glance, I was like, oh, that's, not, that kid, that's not my fault, right? I was like, they're not, that's not because of me that they have all these trucks. There's no way it's because of me. But I had like the AC guys, there was a truck in my driveway. So I was panicking. I was like, I closed the road. There's no way. Why does the AC need the road closed? No, no. The city was fixing something in the sewer. It was just unfortunate timing that the city was here because of the sewer at the same time that the AC people were here. But when I saw the road close and all the trucks, I was like, no, <laughs> that's horrible. This can't be my fault, right? I, I like felt so anxious and like guilty about it. I was like, I ruined the neighbor's day because of my stupid AC unit. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the city. <laughs> The city had to close the road because of the sewer, not me. And then when I told Dan about my panic, he was like, they put a thing on our door about that. 
They told us they were gonna do that. Well, I didn't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> but Dan was like, yeah, they're fixing the sewer. I knew that. <laughs> okay, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> and he's like, look, it's right here on the table. Okay, well, <laughs> I made myself really nervous when I saw them. Yeah, thanks for telling me about that. <sighs> anyway, I, I get why he assumed I would have seen. It was a bright green paper, and it was on the table. And I did see the paper, but I assumed that it was like an ad. Because sometimes people come to our house and they're like, hey, we can pressure wash your driveway and stuff. And they like put ads on the door, so I assumed it was that. So I did, the paper was there. And it was, like, neon green. So I, I see why he thought I would have read it. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't look at it. I didn't care. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe you should take a shower now, Ma. Sorry. <laughs> Am I the problem? Maybe. Your neighbor got their roofer done and the roofers used the wrong staples and it leaks? <gasps> oh, that's horrible. Sometimes we get, um, like, letters in the door like that that are about, uh, it's usually about tree companies because sometimes there'll be, like, people here, uh, cutting, like, branches of trees back. Like, like, around hurricane season, um, everybody's, like, panicking, trying to, like, move, like, cut down the, the, you know, big branches that are too close to their house and stuff, um, in case it, like, falls on their house. And so when there's tree work happening in the neighborhood, uh, the tree companies will like put a letter on like everybody's door and be like, hey, we're gonna be here on Tuesday. Do you need anything done? <laughs> um, so we get letters like that from tree companies sometimes. It's usually tree companies and pressure washing guys. They'll come to the door and knock and be like, hey, can I pressure wash your driveway? And I don't answer. Cause I don't wanna talk to them. So, but I guess it makes sense. Like if they're going to be in the area, it makes sense to go put them out, you know? Um, you love the tree guys. Yeah. We had to hire a tree guy a couple years ago. Um, the first year that I lived in this house, it's been, it's been almost two years now, but the first year I moved in in September, in September, there were two hurricanes, one of which knocked down the tree in my backyard. So I had to hire a tree company to like remove the tree <laughs> because there was a giant tree knocked over in my backyard. Um, so I too have paid a tree company because of that. Thank God it fell like into the yard and not onto anybody's houses. The, my next door neighbor had a ginormous oak tree. Mine was a, only a small tree, but the, the neighbor had a ginormous oak tree that fell in between our two houses and not on to either house, thankfully. Um, but that was bad. They had to get a tree company to come remove that. And that's like a huge oak tree. <laughs> it would have been on my bedroom. <laughs> uh, but that was not so good when that fell. Um, okay, I'm gonna order some medicine quick for Moss too. Cause Moss has been sick this whole time. Someone says, are you gonna get Moss medicine? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Don't worry. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it too. Um, I saw it earlier and then I forgot, but I'm doing it now. You're welcome, Moss. Um, oh, did it, AJ? It took out your neighbor's fence and the shed. That's horrible. It's scary when trees that are that old fall. These are like big, giant trees, you know? Um, and that could do some like serious damage onto the house if it fell, but thankfully it landed just in between them. But it's also really sad when the house, when the tree falls because it's been there forever and you have this beautiful old tree and now it's gone. Um, really, Halo, that happened to you? I'm really sorry about that. My, my parents, our house, we had moved in to our house in June of 2004 and then Hurricane Charlie hit in August, the day before my birthday in <laughs> 2004. Um, and we got pretty lucky. A lot of our neighbors were not so lucky um, with trees falling, but our, our house didn't have any damage from Hurricane Charlie. Um, nothing serious, so, which is a relief. Um, Cause we had just moved in. <laughs> we just got here and then there was this horrible hurricane. Um, but yeah, that was right before I, right when I got here, I should say. Um, okay. Yeah, that was 20 years ago. Isn't that wild? <laughs> That's weird to think about. Um, but that was a, it was a really bad hurricane. Um, people, when storms like that come through, it's, it's, I mean, 
it's like traumatizing for the community um and and like bad because people's you know they're like their homes are ruined i mean sometimes people die god forbid i mean it's it is really bad with stuff like that um so it gets brought up a lot you know um they have there's a legacy to a lot of those big bad storms you think about like what happened with hurricane katrina and stuff um just some of the worst things that have ever gone on with these storms it it really does traumatize people <laughs> um that live through it so it's kind of scary um daddy des and michelle and jb and tw thank you for the subs um okay would you care to go to sleep again thank you thank you moss didn't take their meds thankfully yeah we're good now i gave them both medicine because i think that alphabet was sick too but i'm not sure um, okay, well, I'll probably get off stream here in a minute. We don't need to talk about dangerous hurricanes anymore. That's unpleasant. <laughs> um, but we will probably get off stream here in a minute. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I'm really excited because tomorrow we're going to play with the Stardew Valley update, which I have been looking forward to and counting down the days for so long. <laughs> um, so tomorrow the update concerned ape said it's going to come out in the morning West Coast time but no specifics yet. So we don't really know. Um, I'm planning on streaming around one or two, depending on when I can finish my video for tomorrow. Um, but I'll go live early if the update is out and I'm done. I put in my stream schedule, I'd be live at 2 p.m., which is like two hours early. But if the update is out and I'm finished, I'll go live earlier than that probably. But I'll let you know in the Discord how like the timing is looking um, and I'll tell you, but we'll stream like a longer time tomorrow because I'm so excited for the Stardew update. I can't wait. And we'll play it on Wednesday too. Um, there's, if you haven't heard about this, there is a much anticipated update for Stardew Valley. When 1.5 came out a couple years ago, Concerned Ape was like, this is the last content update ever for Stardew Valley. Like we'll update it for like, you know, bugs and stuff and we'll do like a modding update, but no more new content. And then cut to like tomorrow he's changed his mind where it's not going to be as big as 1.5 because that was like a whole new game this one there's going to be a new map that you like a new farm you can play on there's a ton of new content lots of bug fixes um and like gameplay improvements um there's a lot of new things coming in the update tomorrow so for longtime fans of stardew valley this is a huge deal a lot of us are really excited if you haven't ever seen the game before you're probably gonna like it <laughs> It's really fun, um, and I'm just really excited about it. So, yeah, there's, um, it's, he's been posting on Twitter, like, some drops of news about, like, the patch notes. He's been posting, like, little screenshots of bits and pieces of the patch notes. So I'm thinking tomorrow we'll read through all of the patch notes once they're out, um, and then we'll play. So, you can drink mayo now. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting. New festivals, um, just lots of new stuff. We don't really know that many specifics yet. It's still kind of up in the air, um, but we'll find out and I just can't wait. So he really has listened to his audience with these as well. There's a lot of like, um, there's even some like quality of life improvements for speedrunners, which is kind of cool. Um, and I don't know, I just think that's pretty fun. So <laughs> villagers getting winter outfits. Yes, that too. Um, but lots, just lots of stuff. <sighs> Do we think mods will break? Um, he had given like a beta version to modders a while back in advance. Um, so I think there's quite a few updates that will, uh, quite a few mods that will have alpha versions out already for tomorrow. Um, like as soon as it, the update comes out because they had early access to the update. He was like pretty helpful to modders in that way. Um, but there probably will still be some issues and some other mods might have trouble too. It kind of just depends. I think he posted a list of the mods that have been updated somewhere. Um, but uh, if you are uh, in need of your mods, I think he's also going to make it so that you can turn off the update and like play it, like revert to an earlier version of the game and stuff. But I think a lot of those updates are um, for mods are already out or will be out. So um, some more obscure mods might be broken, um, but like a lot of the biggest mods, the people that like, you know, mods Stardew kind of professionally, they might have been given the early access. I'm not super involved in the Stardew modding community. I know a lot more about like how it works with Simmers <laughs> than I do with Stardew, but um, I know that he gave them early access, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm really impressed that he did that. I think that's like a really cool, like, uh, gift to the community almost to uh, give them that early so they can work on it, you know? Um, 
That was pretty cool of him. And that probably helped because then he had some help of people that could like beta test and stuff. I don't know. It's a win for everybody. Um, but anyway, we'll be here tomorrow along with probably like everyone else we know all playing Stardew, <laughs> which will be fun. Um, Kenzo, thank you for the 24 months. Uh, yeah, EA would would not do that. Um, it's just not really how their workflow works anyway. He has a little bit more... He's not as held back by red tape like EA is because he makes it by himself. Like, he can kind of do whatever he wants with it because um, it's just him, you know? Um, but with, like, The Sims and EA, they have, like, these corporate schedules and all this public... Because they're, like, you know, they're publicly traded their company so they have all they like have to have like things in different quarters and blah 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 there's like com it's more complex with ea than it is with like a person who makes a game by himself so anyway <laughs> um anyway you know shareholders and whatnot complicates things um yes he just made him leaf he 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 just made him he made it by himself just concerned ape that his name is eric but goes by concerned ape he made the entire game by himself isn't that amazing um, but anyway, I'm gonna find somebody to raid. Oh, you know what? My friend Sasha is playing that supermarket simulator. I've not played this game. Do you think I would like it? Has anybody here played it? Cause I might go, I might go watch Sasha play it for a bit. Um, and see, cause I haven't played it, but I saw, um, I saw Julian Solomita playing it and now Sasha's playing it. And I'm kind of like, wait a minute, that seems like fun. So I'm curious to know what it's like. I haven't played it myself. Um, so go over and say hi to Sasha for me, um, and we'll, we'll see about Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> You're playing it right now, really? Okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a try then. Um, but a lot of people have been playing it, so, um, I'm interested, I'm interested. I'm not an expert, I don't know how it works. But, not tomorrow, because tomorrow I have plans. But maybe soon. Anyway, have a great rest of your night, everybody. Say hi to Sasha, and I'll catch you tomorrow for some Stardew, okay? Bye! Hehehe. <laughs>